what? That's EU4. That's the right one. That's for this. Hello, friends. And welcome back to... Oh, God. Rib World. Let me make sure that everything's not going to get fucked. There we go. That's that's a little bit better. Hello, and welcome back. So, uh, we, we had an interesting game yesterday. Lost a couple more body parts. Uh, Austrian died again, I think. Austrian got eaten by a cougar, if memory serves. Uh, basically fully moved out of this area and started deconstructing it. You know, everything's going back into the mountain base now. Uh, and we're in a solar flare and forced weather at the moment. So all fog and other stuff. Uh, solar flare. Raptor. was No, I don't think it was a raptor. I think it was a mountain lion or a cougar or... Something like that. No, was it a raptor? No, it was a raptor. It was a Dakota raptor, right? Raptor? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it was a Dakota raptor. I wonder if have we eaten it yet? Well, there's panther fur. He's dead, so what does it matter? It's good for the narrative. It's good to the narrative to know how people have died. Like, like, like good old Vognar there, shot in the brain by the world's shittiest turret. It needs to be in, in, emblazoned on there. Oh, this is going to kill all my shit, isn't it? If it doesn't turn back on soon, it will. That's unfortunate. Maybe we'll get lucky and it'll turn back on before everything dies. Yeah, like, we, we've actually, we're halfway through growing everything here, and it's all gonna die. That's what I get for installing hydroponics. Still tracking deaths? Uh, I do have a spreadsheet. I have not added these dead people onto it yet. Oh, uh, it turned back on. Thanks. Turned back down after all the heel root died. Okay, we some of the cotton and some of the cabbage is still alive. Good, I guess. Ah, well. No big deal. We have meds right now. It's not the end of the world. Uh, we actually have more meds than I'm, 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 I, I usually have laying around, so it's not too bad. We have gene creation popping up on the doodly too. And we got some interesting animals sitting around. So I wonder if we're going to be able to do some interesting uh, genetic manipulation. Ayo! Bolt goods trader from the Central Republic, which I believe is my brand new friend. Oh, it is cold out though. Also, why is there so much blood down here? Magnu booty, magnu yeet, magnu booty, magnu yeet, magnu roll zero. Magnu booty eat indeed. Thanks, you to be. How you been? Oh, well, there's there's most of a free elk. Uh, I need. Who's my word in these days? Richie, to run to the. Where are they? Run to these guys and try to intercept them before they. Oh, they got woolly cows. Traders keep showing up with the best animals. <sighs> you have the tunnel beam? No, uh, I actually don't have the tunnel beam because it doesn't really fit our theme too well. Also, we should really tell them to go somewhere else. Um, is it trade spot? Trade spot. Tell them that the trade spot should be like in my base. Where we trade. Where my shit is. There we go. Alright, uh, and Richie. I would like to start setting up some better outfits for people, too. Uh, some cool shields would be great as well. Some of those big tower shields. They have woolly cows. Those are the best. They make milk and... They're one of the few animals in, the, in my mod pack that make milk and wool. So they're 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 double doodlied. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Um, degraded, 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 degraded. Um, boop 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 boop. 
degraded, degraded. Okay. All right, this is fine. Man, wolf skin is worth a lot. It's got good hit points. The, uh, wolf skin is actually really good. Again, sharp. It's not bad. Wolf skin is a good textile. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, obviously, we're going to buy a pair of cows because why would I ever not? Also, I have a lot of meat. L look at look at all of this meat I have here. That is, well, some of these, like the chicken and the jerk, well, yeah, the jerky. Yeah, most of this is my meat. That is a fair bit. Uh, what, what the fuck is dino jelly? Dino beetles. Huge beasts that produce nutrient-rich amber-like substance. Uh, so I'm assuming that's a genetic thing. Wolf farm? Uh, <laughs> one, yeah, that wouldn't be too bad. I love doing farm-based colonies. Uh, colonies where I'm, I'm using some sort of animal to make an economy. I really love that. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, they'll just pay up straight up cash for them. Bring them in. Cy cyber wolves. So, I I did have a plan to do a cyber T Rex, like bionic T Rexes at some point, but that colony didn't last long. Hey, Calamar, how we doing? We we had a uh, a one T Rex that I think we managed to put a bionic spine in before things went tits up. All right. <laughs> Fucking traps. I'm actually, as much as a pain in the ass that these traps are, I'm glad I have them. Because they have been helping me out. Uh, since I've put them in, I've used them quite a bit. Also, this is going to be my tomb. We've got a bunch of people mining out the steel and the silver that we found. Uh, Zet gifted a doodly to Kalmar. Thank you very much, Zet, and welcome, Kalmar. It kind of bugs me that these default face the wrong direction. But it's not a big deal. Uh, and what we're going to do is take down most of these walls uh, so that we can have a better area for my animals to graze on. But I do, I, I'm going to need significantly more power production in the long run. Uh, is it, This is plugged in, yeah? Just, let's just double check all my power production is linked up here. So the this one and this one both go up through here. Okay, cool. Just the this right here sucks down a huge amount of power. The fungal gravel. Uh, to get the, do the fungal thing, I would have to go tunneler meme, and I'm not going to use tunneler meme because it doesn't fit my theme. It would be meta in that it would be good for this colony, but it doesn't fit my theme. Like um, Richie is my is like my doctor slash best warden, so Richie doesn't need to be walking around in like plate armor. So I could definitely change that up to give him items that have social benefit or medical benefit. All right, those almost done. Ugh, just suck. I got I say it just sucks down so much work, but I guess I'm just farming construction experience. Crassus still needs to be com uh, converted to, because Crassus is the wrong religion. Uh, speaking of which, that Pope hat is... But the, the, the combination of the armor and, like, the Pope hat... Oh, shit, it worked! Uh, it's just a really good look. It's a really nice look. Serious pain from... Oh, how bad is that? 15, that's a lot. But still not as bad as Daddy. I think... Daddy is the most fucked up I've ever naturally gotten somebody. And remember, these stats are artificially high because of the sensory mechanites. Oh, boy. Trap hits. Oh, yeah, it's like four or five stabs all at once. And these are actually low damage traps because they're made out of marble. Um... Steel plus steel are kind of the way to go if you want straight up DPS out of them. Aww, alcohol. Be okay. I was hoping he wouldn't have a mental break because we converted him. Dad Daddy is a tough. Wait, how old is Daddy? 46. Not that old. Alright, that's this is fine. This is fine. I definitely need much more growing zone for the animals. Probably, uh, ideally, would be two full sun lamps. 
for them to to munch off of steel would be significantly faster construct yeah but the thing is steel is a much more um valuable commodity the only reason i'm using traps at all is because i've got thousands and thousands and thousands of marble blocks sitting around but steel i don't have huge quantities of it in reserve so it's 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 more of i am using this because i have the re this specific resource to use it Fitz, you got a hammer right you do cool i i gotta say it has allowed me to really farm up some construction because let's look at our, our main constructors right now 19 19 18 <laughs> very good Also, uh, I must say, there's some, we got a lot of taming going on out there, too. Which reminds me, this elk should be eaten. Oh, you can milk an elk? Oh, I didn't know that. Well, the more you know! Maybe we'll do cheese. The game always wants me to make cheese. I thought it was 45. Wow, that's not bad. That's actually more damage than I thought it was. For some reason, I thought that was for they, those were providing 45 damage. But no, it's more than that. Not bad at all. There's Ulrich, the animal warg. You can milk. No, you can milk most, most things if you try hard enough. And I found some more steel. Uh, but we're going to need to knock out another dude when we get at it. Right now, I have a whole bunch of people. Aside. The mi a lot of the mining goes slow because, A, I lost my best miner. And uh, I've got a whole bunch of people set to basically, if you're not doing anything else with your time, do that. Road building. Flamethrowers or utility columns. I think I will go for road building. That does befit us. Da oh, yeah. Damage depends on the material. That's why steel and plasteel is better. But I still thought that marble was... Was, was was worse than it is. What the hauling mammoths do? I, we, we, the mammoth is not milkable, is it? No, that's just wool. It's probably a fuck ton of wool. A mammoth is really big. Got a lot of tasks assigned right now. Which is why nothing, there's a whole bunch of things like getting worked on right now, but nothing's getting finished because there's a fuck ton of work being uh, uh, assigned to be done at the moment. And a lot of people are double up on tasks, but thankfully we're getting through it. Also, we were planning on handing out some more industrial weapons as well. Because a whole bunch of people uh, have shooting skills, and now I have a good... I can't make it, but I have a good backlog of stolen ammo. Richie, why are you in a bad mood? Rest is low. Okay. Titanuses? I mean, it's got the word Titan in it, so it's got to be a big boy, right? Oh, it's a murder bird. Yeah, no, these are actually kind of nasty. I've had these uh, kill some people before. Murder bird. Murder, murder, murder. murder, murder. All right, uh, to the defenses, everybody. Again, we're using the, de we're the our defenses are getting a Damn lot right. of, a lot of, of work done. Yourself. These things are, if I remember correctly, they're pretty fast, too. Yeah, seven. They're pretty zippy. Murder, bur murder, murder, murder. Murder, murder, murder. Still says semi-professional internet. I kind of allowed, sir. You should upgrade to professional by now. Uh, I mean, I, I think that's a fair assessment, but I don't know. I feel, I felt always felt like semi-professional internet clown had a better ring to it. 
Cyrus, you can man that. Noroth goes to the front line. Fitz, Perturbi, Kurd, mana turret because you're a doctor. She, man, Voldrin, uh, you're a good shot. Crassus, front line. Annabelle, turret, Bahamut, back line. Zet, turret, Kuri. Backline, Daddy. Well, actually, Daddy, uh, I guess you could stand on the front line now. You don't have working bits, but that's that's okay. Hey, Colonist, how we doing? Jidge. We need more people on the front line. Who am I missing? Mayor. Voldren's got his, uh, his bolt act or semi-automatic rifle. Hey, Honor Guardian. Oh, jeez, are they fast. We just got the traps reset, too. Ooh, that one went down like a sack of crap. Oh, I got hit in the brain a couple times. Spike trap and miss the Titanus and hit the Titanus with a scorpion arrow. That's all of them. Fully auto scorpions. Yep. Well, it's it's a five round burst. The five round burst. I, I think when they made the mod, they went, hey, the Mythbusters did that episode about the repeating scorpion. Or the repeating ballista, technically. I guess that's what a scorpion is. And kind of merge the two concepts together. Be rolling in food otherwise. Yeah. Well, I mean, even if they had regular Scaria, the chances are I'd only get one of them. Same one. I can't. They have greater Scaria, which means it's impossible to do anything with them. Uh, well, actually, no, this is regular Scaria. Uh, but they do have brain damage. Okay, we're not going to save that one. This one's got pretty bad brain... Okay, okay, never mind. I'm wrong. They do have regular Scaria, not greater Scaria. It's my bad. Uh, but they also have horrible brain damage. So I'm just going to let them go. Also, I got enough damn animals right now. I got a lot of animals. Can you come over here and suck down some jelly? Richie, you come over here and suck down some jelly. Try to get these people close to... Hey, we got one. We got two. How much meat's on one of these? Uh, 250. Hey, KJ. We got three. We, got we actually got... Uh, Pretty lucky on the rolls there. We got a whole bunch. Is that chicken? Oh, I was wondering if it was going to pop out like a, just a huge amount of chicken meat. Just, just It's just bird meat. Uh, it's like 750 bird meat, though. Your mother's a bitch. There you go. Uh, I love that sound effect. Your mother's a bitch. All right, so all that construction's down now. These don't need to be here anymore. Those are just old ceiling fans. And the constructors are back on putting the traps back up. Oh god! Again, I'm glad I'm glad they're there, but boy, is it a lot of work. <laughs> um, lab is still on the map. It's gonna get some of the equipment for the giant. If that lab is still on the map, uh, what do you mean, Fox? Lab is still on the map. Do you mean like this map, or do you mean my map? I'm assuming you mean the world map. Was, was there, uh, there was, let's see, ancient complex, ancient complex. There's a sealed vault. There is a bit, there is a lab out there. It's good there, it's good for 10 more days, you're right. There's a fair amount of bourbon there. All right, well, back to where we, back to square one. Well, we needed this steel too, so it's good to get it out of there.
<laughs> Where they hide the humanities? Is that the, uh, is, the, that, that's gotta be the, the, the Stalin's human gorilla hybrids right there, right, Sergei? It's, it's where, it's where they keep the, uh, the, the former Soviet gorilla boys. If you guys didn't know, that was a thing. Trying to make gorilla people. Almost done. Zet, I appreciate your hard work, even though you don't know how to do this. But not enough to free you. Uh, I need to... Backfill these areas I'm not using. go we'll need a door on there uh let's see fad we do structure and this is this is for a tomb so we'll put on a nice fancy door because it's for a tomb okay how do, how do we do we got uh five more to go not bad god damn it Oh, Tomb of the Fallen Romans. Yep, yep. We're gonna we're gonna finally get the six dead bodies out of the freezer. Appreciate you doing something you have no choice in doing. Exactly. Also, Zed, I can't help but notice you're carrying around a whooping stick. I can't allow that. I just can't allow that. Heard. What are you doing? Watch watching the sunrise. This you're indoors. Wait, no, why is this? This is technically outdoors now. Why is this outdoors? Right, because the wall went, the, the door went down. Because we were disassembling this place. Okay, no, that makes sense. I mean, he was still under a roof, though. Backfilling the tomb with uh, 304 or 57 stone. Probably compacting between each li What, Ohio? <laughs> I have no idea what you just said. <laughs> Uh, rhyme nodules. I don't know what those are. Inspired trade on Bahamut. Yeah, this isn't growing because it's too cold out. Only weapon. Yeah, no. The only the only weapons my uh, slaves are allowed to carry around are frozen bass. You never know when you're gonna need to give someone a good fish slap. Semi-bureaucratic joke. As a non-bureaucrat... Bureaucrat? We're gonna go with bureaucrat. Just... And that's the last of the mining tasks right there, too. Okay, there's that. They're backfilling in here nicely. Prove the groceries on the bank ID. I sure can. Uh, there's the app. There we go. For a hot second there, I thought Leah spent $800 on groceries and I was like, What? <laughs> and then and then I realized it was in sec. <laughs> and it was in sec. Oh, that's a normal amount. <laughs> Alright, we need to get lights in here next. And we decided to go with the... I think it was cyan and azure colors. Let's, uh, let's open up the... I think it's under furniture. Yes. Here we go. So we'll use, and what we'll do is we'll we'll alternate. So that's, yeah, 
we'll just we'll just this is gonna be way more lights than there are actually needed uh, actually let's let's not go that that in that, that that's that's more that's too much that's too much let's go Azur we'll skip three one two three and that should cover it the, the four lights should actually cover that really well and look nice I think that'll give it a nice two-toned look. Also, we still need to get more power production too at some point. Double check that that's plugged in. Yeah, it is. Six colonists are idle. The problem is, is that the, uh, the there's work to be done. Uh, why is this area so fucking cold? Okay, they're not planting in there because this area is fucking cold. It's not exposed to the outside. It's just not... I Oh, you know what I... I ah, you know what I did? I put this door in recently. And I didn't put in a thingy. So, there's your problem. I added in doors in some spots without putting in vents. Not bad. Does that give coverage? Gives coverage. Bedrooms are chilly too. Yes, because those don't have vents either. I forgot vents in a lot of places. Yes, there we go. It's already warming up over here. Should get its own designated heaters in this area too. Alrighty. Uh, let's copy these to... Ooh, you know what we could do? We'll alternate them on the other side. Hey, I think that'll look real nice, honestly. Ooh, ooh, it's gonna look good. Let's move that out. So this one will go on this side. And then we'll need to wait on that last one. And then we can put in... Oh, you know what would be great is if we, uh, okay, okay, okay. We make statues of the fallen to keep with their tomb, like a statue of themselves looking over their, their own grave. I like that. Ah, oh, we got milk. Woo, my woolly cows are doodling. All right, profit. That, that's a lever action. I really like the lever action rifles. We were going to hand these out to people. The lever action rifles are uh, are actually a pretty good weapon. They conserve ammunition because they don't fire ridiculously fast. They have good damage, okay penetration, good accuracy. They're overall pretty good. Bathroom or bedroom? Uh, well, we, we're starting to build private bedrooms over here. But right now, there's just public bathrooms. Animal starvation, of course. Or not. Okay, uh, I got plenty of corn we could feed them. So for now, they could just eat corn laying around. Uh, we should be... Gr yeah, we, uh, we need more... We really do need more power. We either need to increase... All right, all right, all right, all right. What we need to do for now is just turn this off. Is not doing anything. Zet, do me a favor, flick that switch. Also, there's a baby. Hey, we got a female baby right there. Nice. Uh, this is food. Sorry, but your food. Ah, that bloop. I would love to know. Because that, that bloop has become like, you know, like channel history. I would love to know who that bloop was. It was recorded so long ago. I have no idea who that bloop actually was. Wrong color light on the last one. Uh, 
There's marble, azure. Oh yeah, that should be cyan. Just gotta get that last light in there to get the full effect. I like that actually. I got, I think that looks pretty nifty. I think that looks pretty nifty. All right, yes, temperatures back up in here. Uh, what we should do is well. Oh, we gotta reassign a research project. Irrigation. So that's a different. That's the Dub's bad hygiene irrigation, which I will take. Uh, ugh, what a mess. This is such a messy area. Such a messy spot. All right, let's, let's, let's try to clean it up. Square, basically square it off. I am the Senate. Oh, that was the wrong thing. Uh, mine. From here to there. 24 by 13. Uh, structure, I'm going to put in some marble columns to hold up the roof a little bit. To make sure it doesn't collapse on me. Pillars in the crypt. Oh, yeah, definitely. Once you customize Discord and mute literally every notification tag for DMs, it's quite a, nice, quite a nice program. Yes. Well, that's like the first thing you do when you join a server. Right-click, mute all notifications. Because, you honestly, most notifications you don't want. I actually turned off, like, sending out notifications for streams on my server. Because I was like, these are probably just ignoring pe uh, annoying people. Uh, and then a bunch of people complained that they didn't know streams were going on because then it wasn't sending out bloops anymore. And I was like, okay, I guess more people are paying attention to those than I thought. Let's see. Uh, I think we can, yeah, let's, let's just scrooch that back and get rid of this little doorway here. And we'll, we'll work on making this a little neater in here. I want it to look a little better. Why not circles? Uh, circles could, honestly, I've used circles for, for the last like year of playing RimWorld. I'm just getting back to the old fashioned squares. The, the non-Romans food supply as our divine right. Wait, 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 wait. Are you saying that non-Roman people are food? Cause that's how I suss that out of my head. <laughs> any any non-believers are meat. Need warm clothes. I mean, I technically could give my slaves a jacket at the very least. You know what? Maybe I should I should give them like a slave bathroom that's just like a, a latrine. Barbarian taste someday. Well, yeah, yeah, you're you're. <laughs> You're not, you're not, you're not, you're not wrong, Sergey. When you're, when, when you're supping on uh, barbarians from the land of the long-haired gulls, it's they're a little gamey, a little gamey. If you, if you're gonna eat a pagan, you want to go Greek. Everyone knows Greek is delicious. There's a Greek, there's a Greek place right downstairs from my apartment. It smells amazing. All right, all right. So that 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 clears up a little bit of this. Let's get rid of this stuff in here. Delete, delete, delete. Uh, these can be hauled out. Also, there's some uranium here to get out, but right now that's not a huge important uh, thing to take care of. Now I'm going to tell them to smooth out the walls so I can get power back in this region and plumbing so I can get some uh, designated heaters in here. And it is a little bit off because it was uh, specifically built to line up with this cavern that was right here. Uh, we've got a genetic supplier if Richie wants to go 
have a call. I don't know how any of this stuff works, but they have medicine. <laughs> I'll buy 300 ducats worth of medicine. I have no idea where that landed. It, was, it wasn't over here. Oh wait, no, well, it was it was over here, but they missed the platform. But I think that's just landing for ships. I don't know if traders are actually shooted in there. Cool. Tight, 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 tight. Making some buckwheat cinnamon rolls. Well, I don't know if I've ever eaten anything made out of buckwheat. But, but wheat, but, buckwheat before. I. It sounds. You, you had me at cinnamon roll, frankly. All right, all right, all right. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. All right, I think I would like to go through some of my my gunners and hand out the better uh, some better weapons to the good ones. So like Perturbi here, I'm gonna give you uh, this uh, lever action. Thank you. And let's see. Mm, you don't have eyes. Corey, you take the other one. There you go. Uh, and then Curry and Perturbi need to be switched from default to industrial. Industrial, so is Perturbi and Curry industrial. So they get the right ammunition. There we go. How's the stream going well so far? Pretty much just started, but that's, that's fine. This is gonna be a good stream, I feel. Got a Smitty yet. We do have a Smitty, yes. We got a Smitty right there. Been using it to make armor a fair bit. Oh, the the tomb needs to be built up too. Okay, uh, let's. It's miscellaneous, right? Miscellaneous, sarcophagus, marble. And what we'll do for now is, yeah, we don't need too many in here just yet. And then we would we could have oh you know what actually I think I should move I should move them one because I would if we put statues in I think the statues should be uh, with their backs to the wall facing over the tomb so that that we've got I think six corpses right now this will hold nine so we, we'll 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 have a little room to expand. Okay, roaming monstrosities has happened a lot. I think this is the third or fourth time it's hit now. I think this event fires too often. Because this event gets you nothing. Like, it, it, this is literally just like a uh, like a D and d encounter designed to burn some of your spell slots. Annabelle... That Crassus, Richie, Scorpion, Knight, Bahamut, Jidge, Kuri, Noroth, why do you have a stick? Is not linked to the regular raid or event. It's on its own timer. You can adjust in the mod settings. Oh, are you, uh, can I? Uh, so that's the genetic one, right? Yeah, let's let's double that. It's hitting because of the lab. You need to kill the lab to stop them. Did it say that anywhere? Abandoned lab, possible unknown threat. Recently discovered. I don't remember it actually saying that, but I guess that's feasible. Fits. 
Mr. Maya, Frontline, Cyrus, Herd. Be back here with your gun. Perturbi in the back with your gun. Noroth. Frontline. Oh, oh, they're already in here. I feel like I'm missing someone. Oh, daddy, yeah. Uh... Beetle Fleet? Hersman Stallion! Bear Scarab? Uh, Crow Course Mayor? Muffalope? A bear bug? Seriously, not a bug bear? I think that was all of it. Nope, there's more. A boomin'. Mole aw, oh, mole bear sounds pretty cool. Chicken bear rooster. Boomin' sounds like a creepy pasta, yeah. Alright, and then the Triceraphalo. Which has got a really cute face, frankly. There we go. And we have to redo the traps again. <laughs> Motherfucker. How, how is how's daddy doing these days? You figure out how those arms work? 35%? I think it only yeah, it only goes up to 35%. Oh, I feel bad. I feel bad for that old lady. Old lady named Daddy with two steel arms and a peg leg and, and half of an eye. <laughs> and a bad back. Gonna, yes, I, I do think we will make our own genetic horrors. Basically, see see what kind of things we can make that are milkable. That sounds like a lot of fun. Right. Uh, I do want to put one of these over here so we have our own heat in this region. Uh, then we just need a little bit of plumbing down here. Boop -boop -boop. Because I would love if we could stop uh, feeding our animals my corn. <sighs> Crassus, what you doing? Cow cowering from the chicken spider. All right, well, well now it's dead. Uh, what killed the mega wolverine? Wild paw. Yeah, that makes sense. I went out here to try to tame an elk. I didn't tell them to do that. I think, I think that, that's too low to bother trying with an elk. Attack tortoises with enhanced shells and venom implants. I mean, I did do a colony based on tortoises once, and it was wildly successful. Uh, I found out that tortoises is uh, probably the best animal you can farm in the game. Which was just ridiculous. It was, man, now I don't want to do another tortoise colony, frankly. <laughs> uh, artful display, sewage treatment. We don't, I don't really use IDs that much. How that colony end? I probably just got overwhelmed with it. I, uh, if I remember correctly, that was right after the last DLC came out. 
and uh, there was that issue where the raids, the 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 raids were really heavily weighted to be mech raids with the thumpers, and I just got completely overwhelmed with those because they were firing all the time. But then they realized that there was a bug, and those shouldn't have been firing that often, and all was well. Right. Uh, we need more heat. One more. There we go. All right, all right, all right. Temp's coming up. That's what we want to see. Uh, except in here, which actually what we could do here is just do this. That'll actually help me out. It'll provide cold on the side. It Wait. Uh, yeah, I got it set up the right way. Cold on the side that needs to be cold and hot, hot on the side that needs to be hot. And we made a masterwork sarcophagus. Sarcophagi for every man, woman, and child. Okay, so these ones are all going to get taken down. Sorry, we're going to eject a bunch of corpses in a hot second here. I just want to see if there's any... Yeah, I was going to say, I think we got some animals to eat. Hmm, interesting. A caribou has way more meat on it than an elk. Or way less, that is. An elk has way more. All right, everything else is fine. Oh, Sergey, I, I played a little bit of Deep Rock this morning and got fucking murdered by something I had never seen before. It was kind of funny. I was, I, I just came around a corner in a cavern and there was some fucking big robot flying around with little pincer guys and he just went, grab murder. <laughs> and I was like, oh, fuck. Well, that shit happened. All right, all right, all right. He's going back up again. <laughs> tomb is, uh, tomb needs to be, like, glorified. But other, other than that, we can just start, cr um, throwing corpses in there. Alrighty. All is well. Knight, what are you wearing? Oh, it's a leather noble fur coat. It's kind of nice looking. Fancy tile and tomb. Yeah, I probably will, but right now, again, a lot of construction tasks that need doing because we have to keep redoing those traps. Thank God I have a couple good constructors or we probably would have canceled these. Temp's good. Temp's better, but not as high as it should be. So we could use another one of these in here. Uh, build a copy. Put it over on this side for symmetry. Run a little bit of doodly up that way. Uh, I, I was about to say, something just changed. Yay! The corpses are getting put where they belong. Uh, all right, let's we'll make sure this goes down to... I'm just going to crank it down as low as... It, how low was this? Let me go. All right, so we'll let me set it to any more than minus 273. I don't think it'll go very... I'm disappointed in both of you. Patriarch, Matriarch. Uh, well, it was me. There's a, there's a, uh, my corpse is in one of these, but right now it's a uh, Voldren is the leader of my colony. And today, one of the things I really want to focus on is getting a correct outfit set up for people so that they're visually distinct in the roles. Like, Kuri and Crassus are right fucking here. I'll take your legs for this. Well, 
I should probably specify the slaves are not allowed to stand where all the weapons are. But then again, I do want them to be able to haul shit around. Uh, every, if I if I need to shoot a couple slaves a couple every once in a while, it's not a big deal. All right, all right. Uh, Richie, stabilize, curd, tend. You don't get medicine. Did we shoot off any body parts? Missing some toes. I think that lung was gone from before. Eh. If every once in a while I need to put up a couple bullets and some slaves, it's what I gotta do. We will need to increase my heat production again as well. No, it might not be a bad idea to do this. More ways for the heat to dissipate would be good. Because it's hot in here. Because Oh, oh, we ran out of the stew, which means we can come in here and do the... Uh, where we switch it to fine. Fine stew. There we go. Uh, so this does need to go up another notch, I believe. 1600 yeah so increase power all right now nice and warm beautiful all right cor everybody's corpses is getting ejected sorry sorry that's me there I go Contains Magnus. Art. Uh, engraving on the sarcophagus is shaped by Voldrin standing next to Magnus's grave and talking quietly to the memorial. Wait, did Voldrin carved himself into my tomb with a depiction of himself at my grave? Whatever. Fine, it's fine. Oh god. Um Central Guard? Welcome, welcome. Zet's got an infection. Uh it fell down and is getting dragged around by a woolly mammoth now. Alright, now that you're dying from an infection, I'll let the doctors actually tend to you a bit. Here we go. First streamer to get my name right. Woohoo! I'm usually pretty bad at that. Everybody here can contest that I, like, 80% of the time I get it wrong. So consider yourself lucky. Alrighty, alrighty. Where were we? Right, 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 right. Putting everything back together. Okay, the Hurstman Stallion. Alright, alright, okay. We're good, we're good, we're good. I think we can tell them to start focusing back down here again. So the roofs have already been taken off. So how am I doing on block types, right? We got a lot of slate loot laying around, so I can use a little bit more of that in a couple places because we need a, a little retention area around here to guard it because these walls are going to be tight, uh, coming down. And then we'll just uh, put in a door right there. And what I want them to do is just take down the walls. So select similar. And get rid of these. Select similar. Get rid of those. This light is continue is absolutely superfluous. It's an old battle rifle sitting in there. Uh, so is that. Ta taking down a lot of old things that just don't need to be sitting around anymore so we can reuse this area. What we'll do is we'll make this a primary farming area and uh, pasture for my animals and then set them up a actual barn to live in. 
I like the tomb. It definitely needs a little oomph. Unroof the animal zone. Good point. I mean, none of that should collapse because there's other walls all around it, but still, it should come down. Okay, cool. Tight, 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 tight. Uh, how are we doing on textiles? Because I want to work on some clothing. Fair bit of good stuff to work with. Uh, anima yak leather. We've used up all... No, we still have anima yak. No, that's leather. We don't have any animal lack. Anima yak wool. That's the word. <laughs> in storage right now. Because I do have them set up to use it a bunch. So they've been using it as it comes in. Uh, should turn off the sunlamp. The sunlamp there's been off for a while. Series of columns and uh, pawn statues. It'll real, yeah, it'll jazz it up pretty good, I think. Make it zazzy. We can either put like one. Well, no, we can, we're not gonna be able to do one straight down the center. Two right next to each other, I don't think look good. Which leaves us kind of with this. Which I'm I, I'm okay with. Giving them a, a nice, like, pillar there. The floors need to be done. Can you make a big pillar? Uh, I think I would, I think that would require art uh, to do. Like, if we want to do obelisks or something like that, it's more work. Mammoth is carrying stuff. Peculiarity of the mammoth. Uh, whenever it is carrying things around for a purpose, it the little backpack shows up on it when it's doing hauling tasks. I noticed that too. It's just the mammoth. All right, so that's down. And we just milked the cow. Excellent. Man, that... That's fine. I was like, that tomb really filled up fast, but it's just... Because now I'm looking at it. I wasn't really looking at the corpses before. <laughs> I wasn't looking at the dead people, but now I am. I'm paying attention. How are we doing on steel, by the way? Pretty good. 2,500. Cheese when? We're starting to get some, uh... Some milk built up, I think. Yeah, we got a little bit of milk in there. It's good to see. Good to see. Maybe we'll, we'll, we'll uh, work on a stockpile of milk. And then maybe we'll start making some traditional Roman cheese. Yeah, I think that looks good with the columns. Got on the floor next to the freezer. Uh, somebody dropped a double action revolver there. My constructors right now are like the only ones with work to do at the moment. Alrighty, uh, let's see. I would like... Two more sets of Centurion armor, which I apparently have on there twice. And two more sets of Legionnaire armor made up right now. And I would like five heavy shields made up as well. So, oh, they these are made out of leather, which makes perfect sense, which means I could specify a very good um, textile. That's only going to give one person a job, honestly. Fun artwork on the caskets. Well, we could check a couple of them, see what do. Noroth, are you good at this? Crafting four. You're not, but you have a passion, so it's fine. Goodwill, great bow, concrete slab, a concrete bed, pass. That's a gun. He's, he's, uh, well, he should only be carrying it to, uh, 
to an armory and decide to keep it in his pocket, it looks like. And you can make bronze. I can make bronze, but it's worse than... There's, there's literally no point in making bronze unless you are out of steel. If you have no access to steel, bronze is super cool. But if you have access to steel, there's no reason to have it. <laughs> Alright, that's a good amount of space to work with. So what we'll end up doing is making... I'm going to say... Well, we're going to need a vastly increased power production. But... Two, two sun lamps for grass for the animals and then an interior zone. I like color coding the rooms, honestly, with the colored lights. I think it looks really nice. Especially the Killador here. If anything, I think the Killador should have more red lights in it. It should be a deeper red. Is there, is there a second red color? So we got red. Magenta's not really gonna... That's a little too bright. Violet's a little too... Pleasant. Chartreuse is bright green. We got orange. So nah, we really only got red. So we'll add in some, uh, some more bright red lights. To make sure everybody knows this is the corridor of death. Utters to wolves so the Romans can be raised by mother wolves. Like Romulus and Remus. Yeah, like that famous statue. Color is dark light. Uh, it kind of is like a nice... I would say it's kind of similar to the cyan, only a little lighter colored. It's got a nice like bluish hue to it. About Rose? Was everyone called Rose? Wait, is... What is going on? <laughs> it's made it less red. <laughs> what, what ha... What is going on here? I, I think maybe we're gonna take off this, this one? I, th I think they might be, the, the colors might be interfering with each other because those are from different mods. Maybe I put too many of them in. Let's take out a couple. Let's, let's try removing some of them and see if that does the trick. Excellent. Nice to see my constructors at work. It's really weird. Yeah. Like, it's weird that it's red-er down here the only, and red-er up here. So the only thing I can think of is that if you put too many of them close together, they kind of cancel out. So we'll take half of them out. Yeah, it got, it got redder when we took out some light. So we'll, we'll, we'll spread them out a little bit more, I think. We'll, and we'll make the hallway nice and, and dark red. Kind of silly, but okay, it's fine. Look at all the old plumbing and shit in here. It's kind of funny. Yeah, like the power goes out. You can see that the power went out. I didn't take down a power line, did I? That's all still plugged in. Your power. Um, how much longer left on the building quest? Eh, it doesn't matter. I'm not doing it. Too much other crap to work on. Because, like, right now, I've got a lot of, pe pe you know, people standing around with not much to do. But the people who have things to do are my constructors. I can't have my miners out and about, too, again, if I want just to do some more, more exploratory mining. Yeah, I got red-er. 
Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is take all take these out and make sure that they don't overlap at all. And it seems like them overlapping is the issue. Also, I need I need someone to muck out the the poopery. Oh, uh, no, you won't do it. Jidge. Also, apparently I need a place to dump waste. This is fine. How wide is that? 15? That shouldn't collapse anything. I just want to square this little spot off. Alrighty. Such a weird little thing with the lights. Do I have any way of getting power... That I'm not utilizing. Uh, wind, but that would have to go down here somewhere. I do have more... I, I have a little bit of room to work with if we want to put some wind generators in. Because this area is blocked off. Uh, good chance that it'll get destroyed by attackers who want to get through the wall. But we can go ahead and put some wind turbines in over here like this. Uh, wouldn't be able to fit. I, I, maybe, maybe just one or two. Because it's got to be a little finicky here. Also, let's, let's, for now, let's just get rid of those. Uh, I'm also going to tell them to get rid of a lot of this stuff that's just kind of sitting around being annoying. Just because it's bugging me ever so slightly. And yeah, we got to check overhead mountains. Because some of the, a lot of this I've like nipped off little bits of the edges, so there might be overhead mountains in the way still. No storage space for a herseman. Uh, that is not full, so I'm not sure why he can't fit in there. Maybe it counts as a person because it's part human. Woo! Textile trader. Although, I don't have a lot of textile to trade because I've been using them. Uh, Richie, can you pop in here? Got a f old flop hat. Like there's lots of textiles. They're not, they're only selling. They're not buying, that's interesting. Huh. Normally, textile traders are a good way to make money, but they're not buying any textiles. They're only selling. I don't see the ones I have on the list here. Unless I'm missing something. No. No trade beacon. Uh, maybe? I don't remember, actually. I told them to put some in. I thought I hit that area. Here, let, let's, uh... Ah, different rooms. I did not put one over here where I'm keeping my textiles. Good call. But I don't actually want to sell my textiles right now, so that's fine. But, but still, good to take care of that. How we doing in here? Uh, a bunch of different people have worked on various bits and baubles. Right, clean this up a little bit. Uh, there's a lot of crap around here that needs to get hauled out as well. Beacons in your extra storage area. I can't put beacons over there because it's too close to the edge of the map. 
Hey, some fine stews already. Beautiful. Looks like I missed some floor bits. Uh, floors. Oh, some of these are, yeah. Eh. I was wondering what this is. I, I laid some paths in earlier. There we go. They were for hydropower. Yeah, there's a couple places we could put hydropower in, but I've already I'm already using hydropower right now, so I'd like to diversify as much as possible. Which is why I'm trying to do some wind in, in, by by getting power coming from as much as many different sources as possible. All right, research project, uh, neural supercharger, the longbow or deep wells. I actually will take deep wells more than anything else. That can come down. All right. Those went out. So now what we can do is turn this on. So this goes one, two, three, four, five. So it gives me five of bright light. So we want to go one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Wait, no, that's wrong. One, two, three, four, five. No, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, if I, and I, I could do one more because the, it, the, the dark light will overlap in the middle there and create like medium light. So it'll be fine. Right, so that should give me the best look. I was hoping by just stacking a bunch of red lights in there, it would make it super red, but then it didn't work that way. <laughs> I think that'll look pretty good. Animals are good. There's a Brachiosaurus out there again. Two Deodons. Some Meese. It's getting fucking cold out. It's kind of interesting that it's this cold. Oh, you know why there's no snow? I was like, it's interesting that it's this cold out, but there's no snow. It's because there's forced fog right now. So it can't snow. All right, uh, let's look at the overhead, ha the mountain. That's wrong. Uh, looking for the roof. There we go. Okay, so it's not that bad. So power. Uh, I'm thinking maybe just like two wind turbines. So we're not using up a lot of space. Because I can fit like one in here. And then flip it around and fit another one right. Yeah, that'll be good. Yeah, I like that. Get those connected up. That'll give me two windmills for minimal space that they'll be taking up. And I can turn this off. I love that it's, it's minus 30 out and that sprinkler is still going off. I love that as soon as I got these built, there was literally no wind at all. None. <laughs> Just throwing ice around, yeah. It's more it's more of like one of the snow blowers at a ski slope. All right, that's looking cleaner. Alrighty, so let's grab this and reinstall it right there. Oh, actually, can I get it in a better spot? Move it up just a little bit, probably. Yeah. Right there. Then I'll build a second one. And it'll need to go about there. Right there is right. Uh, we'll turn. Uh, ooh, it's off by one. Turn it off because it doesn't need to be on right now. Yeah, 
And this is gonna be where our animal's feed is grown. Roof over the geothermal in the south. Uh, yeah. It's not a big deal, though. Turn that off. We'll just get rid of this sprinkler for now. Uh, we'll turn this off for now. All right, a little bit of wind generation. That's nice. Oh, you know what I could do over here as well? Is I could, I could double up use of this land by... I can't fit two in there, right? No. By putting in uh, some solar here. I'll put in... Um, yeah. We'll put in six more solar panels as well. That's a fair bit. That'll get me a whole bunch more power, and it's not taking up that much land. And I think with all of that, we'll probably be good. Oops. I want to get rid of that little nub there. Uh, contains night. The first night, right? No, I forgot about that guy. Here, why don't we... Uh, I mean, he was technically part of the colony for a very brief period of time. Let's let's dig up his old corpse. Solar even working in the fog? I believe it does. I mean, it's getting to be nighttime now, but you can see it's, it's uh, generating output. I don't think the fog affects it that much. It actually only says it, uh, um, it reduces ranged accuracy of weapons. It probably, I would imagine it would impact solar generation by some, but not all. And right now, uh, it's fine because this is, this is future power too. So this area right here is going to be the barn. So we'll smooth out the walls that should be smoothed. That are supposed to be barnally. And uh, Cosmic Cube. Welcome, welcome. And then we will put in... Uh, let's see, how far does this go? Do we want the... Yeah, we want these two areas to be actually connected. And Zar Zonator... Welcome, welcome. Yeah, so... At the very least, let's put the growing zone in so I can see them. Assign these to be grass. Regular grass. And then we'll put in the walls over here that we want. Beautiful. Put in walls like this. We'll have to fix this up a little bit. There we go. Uh, get rid of that. Bloopity doop that. Delete all of the. Nope, not. Del don't. Man. Animal sleeping spot. Get rid of those because they're in my way. Let's make sure the correct areas are going to get roofed. I'll roof that over too. It'll provide me some heat. And then we could put a vent in. So we'll just pop over here and grab ourselves a vent. We'll put that there. We'll put uh, one in there. And we'll put one in... Well, hold off on that one until the, w the walls and the roof are up. Okay. And then we just need an animal flippity-flap right there. And a door on the other side. Some doors to access this area so we don't have to go all the way around to get in. So is it called a flap? Animal flap. Uh, just use plain leather. There we go. And then we just need like a normal steel door would be perfectly fine. I want to use wood. I'm, I'm looking for a regular steel door. Man, I used a lot of auto doors, didn't I? Okay, we'll put that on the back side. And we'll put another one in over here. Easy access. Good. Actually, we don't even need a wall here. We can just take that wall down. That's completely superfluous. Excellent. All right. 
cave moss and heal shrooms. Uh, I believe I need the tunneler thing to be able to do that. I don't think I could do that. Well, I mean, I might be able to utilize these little areas to do that, but I don't remember how those work really. Um, so, heal shrooms. So I can make the heal shrooms in here, but I have to use the naturally occurring little bits. Lothar Chase. Actually, not bad stuff. But still. Rather stay home. Animal beds go around the thermal. It, yeah, they could. They, they could huddle around it. Alright, we're actually going to have a nice little area for my animals to hopefully keep them alive. Yeah, these still work pretty decently. They're over half. 75%. Actually a little better than that. Masterwork. Oh, fancy schmancy. Masterwork steel centurion helmet. Well, Mayor, why don't you go get that? You're my centurion. Replace the degraded old normal one. Uh, I'm gonna need a, I'm gonna need some columns in here. E every good barn needs some columns. Technically, I only need one, but I, I like symmetry. Whole ball as well. Just curious when the next Dev Clash multiplayer game for EU4 will come out. I sadly don't know. Um, I am not on the EU4 brand anymore, uh, so I am not kind of in on the discussions about when we're doing things like that. Uh, I wish I do, <laughs> because I, 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 I really love the, uh, the Grandest Land and the Dev Clashes, and I haven't really been able to work too many of them since I've become internal. But, I mean, when, when, once we know, we'll, we'll let you guys know. But that, that's all, that's really all I can say about it. I just don't have the info. Uh, do, do, do. Okay, that's finished up. All right, everything's coming together. Coming together very nicely. Right, so for now, let's put the animal beds in the barn area because they should be in the barn. Oh, also, uh, I don't think I have like any actual hay available, but well, that's gonna be really annoying to look at this forever. So yeah, don't even bother with that. Yet. Thanks for answering. Yeah, no problem. Like, I, I, I wish, I wish I had a better answer for you. I really do. Oh, I accidentally canceled two. Of, eh, I, I, yeah, that's fine. I got two of them in there. Speed of Clash. Is there any trash talk between the devs, not through the game chat, but head on? Do you mean like in person? Yeah, there's, there's usually like, like friendly banter, you know, like in the hallways. There's there's usual usually some like friendly trash talk at the uh, the you know at, at like the, the the coffee area the break spot in the kitchen. All right, we are almost done with this. Yeah, like we had the Stellaris Dev Clash, which I hosted uh, a couple months ago. I think that was January, February, mo mostly February. That was a lot of fun. Uh, I, I hope we get an EU4 one soon. Paradox Fight Club in the basement. The basement is the garage, so that would be the place for it. That that would be a per that would be the place to beat each other up. Would be in the basement. Yeah. Oh, what we could do as well is once we get the walls and shit smoothed out. We can run the utilities through them because it's safer. Preferred cars in Sweden? Oh, I don't know. I don't think I know anybody with a car. Well, no, 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 no. Casca and Cerisium both have cars. 
But Casca doesn't drive his car into the city. And I think Cerisium's was a Subaru? I don't know. There's a lot of French cars here. I know I saw a lot of Frenchies. We should get some light in here, too. And then we'll put in the uh, the animal donglies up here. Oh, we got to backfill that. No. How's the game going? Pretty good, pretty good. Nobody's dead today, thankfully. Okay, uh, it's furniture, right? The animal sleeping spot? Yeah. All right, so for now, we'll just fill in this little back row here. There's animal sleeping spots. Mission to the dilapidated laboratory. Wait, is that a new one? Wait, wait. It was a one expired and another one popped up. All right. <laughs> That's fine. All right, the, the plants are going again. That's good. How's the temp? Temps are good. All right, nice and frozen in there. Nice and warm in here. Everybody's on ice. Excellent. Toxic spewer for pay. Uh... First train of the month. Is today the first? Is today fucking May? Oh my god, today is May. Jesus Christ. I didn't even know that. Uh, okay. Decent rewards. And an unknown threat is usually not that bad, especially a one star. Five damage. Okay, the plasma cutter seems like shit. Mining pistol with metal core projectiles wrapped in plasma. I think it sets things on fire is its its, is its best thing. Has a chance to deal critical hits with a chance to cut the limbs straight off. Oh, okay, so that's its Yeah, that that's that's its 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 fancy bit. Like damage is low, stopping power is low, armor penetration is low, range is low. It's it's the it's the mining laser from Dead Space. Also gives you a mining speed buff. It's the yeah, it's the it's the utility weapon from Dead Space is what it is. Uh but honestly, this is really uh Tech print specialized limbs really call it my name. Drill arm, field hand, mop foot, vacuum hand. Only here because like half an hour unless you go for two plus. Four. Oh yeah, I'll be I'll be on for more than two hours for certain. Uh, I think I'm gonna accept for this. We love you. Shut up, baby. I know what you. Thanks for the 27 months. Accept. Alrighty, uh, Richie. All right, wait. Who who's got who who could use some extra brainling? So Richie's a seventeen. Bahamut's a sixteen. I guess Jidge. Uh, if you want to jidge it up, Jidge. Apply. All slaves get vacuum hands and mop feet. Honestly, uh, replace if I could replace peg legs with mop feet, that sounds faster. I don't know what the efficiency, like, like the actual, like, what is the, a Cyrus would know, he made that mod. What is the actual, like, movement efficiency of a mop foot? Gotta be good though, right? It's gotta be it's gotta be better than a peg leg. Alright, this has not been finished up yet. 
stepping out of rag and sliding around your house. I bet I could get. I, I bet I could pick up some speed. It gives a minor reduction, like five per leg and two point five per hand or such. So it would be it would be way better than a peg leg then. Have I ever worn Uggs? No. <laughs> it's actually a contentious point in my house. I hate Uggs. My wife loves them. And boom. That's interior now. All right, that is all interior now. So we can start working on it. <sighs> Leave my Uggs. They're called Uggs for a reason. It's because they're the ugliest footwear. They're the penultimate ugliest footwear. The ugliest footwear are Crocs. Are you still carrying around that old corn? You are still carrying around that corn. Drop that corn. Excellent. Okay. How is the temp look in here? It's very cold, so we... We added on a bunch more area to to heat, so we're gonna need to deal with that. Uh, so what we're gonna do? Uh, oh right, powers fluctuate. Why is the power fluctuating so badly? We just oh we're just not producing enough right now because the sun's down, and the wind's off. Oh, uh, we got uh, just crocs like that, man. I wear them all the time in my house. Hey, oh, as long as you're not wearing them in public, I could I could acquiesce. I really hate this little bloop right here. I might move these up one. Ugh, I need more power production. All right, uh, can I get another one of these in? I can. Right there. So what we'll do is we need to mine out a tunnel right here so I can get to it. With the sun, with, with uh, the sun down and the wind off, my power production is not ideal. So, what are you guys doing? Wandering, wandering. Why, why are you guys wandering out here? The fuck, you guys all doing? Oh yeah, I all went for a goddamn walk out here in the toxic barf. Alright, th right, that I understand, because there's the, the back way in to get over here. Oh, uh, yeah, we need to move the pen marker, you're right about that. This needs to be reinstalled. In here. Move them where they need to be. Enough wood for the watermill. Yeah, I've got like 1,500 stored up or something like that. Yeah, about 1,500 wood, so we're okay on that. Cyrus isn't that bad. A lot of my other people are slower than that. Okay, okay. This is fine. This is fine. We could get some better. Uh, we we could get a backup uh, power line in through here too. That's safe. Like it would be uh, ideal to run power through here and then up through there. I like having redundant power systems where possible. And then we'll get rid of the stuff that's just sitting around. It'd be good to have a door out straight here too. Mine the rest of that out. We'll do that later though. The fact that I can't get these red lights to look the way I want them to look is really bumming me out. <laughs> Alright, so how many... It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten tiles between. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. All right. 
And Luke Bob. Thanks for the redoodly. Jeez, everyone is dissing footwear. Uh, yeah, no, no, there's some ugly shoes out there. I don't know why I didn't text to speech that. Uh, good morning, chat. Have a good day. Hey, DJ, how you doing? We're having a good stream today. Also, I am running out of food to feed the animals. It's not ideal. But we got some cabbage popping out soon, it looks like. We're still having power problems, but it's not as bad as it was before. Okay. Voldren, why are you so pissed off? Oh, you were just outside for a long time. Uh, consume some... Wait, wait, wait. Why did we, uh... Why did we run out of stews? Because I didn't say do until you have. That's why. Helping hand. Three colonists for nine days. Lion joins. Fun, love, vengeful, hard no. Sorry, dude. L tech shirt, low shield pack, goodwill. I'm gonna pass on that. Do you think if I. Yeah, let's wait for these lights to go in and see what they look like. Don't forget your goodwill with the Empire got accidentally tanked. It did, but I don't really care so much about that because I'm actually, I, I don't think we're going to befriend the Empire. I don't think, I don't think we're going to befriend the Empire. I think we're going to leave them. And uh, some pillars in the Chow Hall do sound good. Beautified up in here. I kind of, I kind of like telling the Empire to piss off, honestly. It can, it can be fun. Okay, I need someone who's not a moron to do some mining here. Uh, oh god. Yeah, no, daddy can't really do mining because every his everything is broken. Voldrin, if you want to go, like, uh... Ding, it's like, okay, so you're immediately coming out here to do some digging. So, Mayor, can you stop that? Voldrin, I'm gonna have you to come over here and do this one. I'll be able to ask you this before, but why, uh, the, the icosahedron uh, or whatever. Oh, oh, the dodecahedron, uh, for my, for my profile picture. Okay. Yeah, no, 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 that, that's fair. It's because over time, um, I have come to the conclusion that I have just the worst fucking luck. Uh, also, I really like tabletop games. So, uh, what 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 I what I decided it, it was it was a joke during D and D that if I could, I'd roll a zero on a D twenty. And then someone in the community had a D twenty with all zeros made up for me, and they shipped it to me. So, uh, it's it's just a long running joke that my. My luck is so bad, I could roll a zero on a d20. And then I just, I thought it was so funny that someone actually made that die and sent it to me that I just kind of made it my logo. <sighs> and it stuck. It, 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 like, the bad luck has really stuck with me. If, if I didn't have bad luck, I'd have no luck. All right, so now we can get that one up. Just need the power line down here. And, and, and then there's the fact that I literally roll zeros all the time while playing uh, EU4. Never seen Ben and Will Wheaton in a room together at the same time. Yeah, no. <laughs> that's true. Spired Taming on Zet. Uh, you've got Animals 11. There is a Brachiosaurus out there. Uh, okay, hang on. Go get him. Oh, you fuck! <laughs> okay. 
I forced one slave to beat down the other one. Okay, uh, well, who's the next best person? Perturby. Oh, you're already out there to try. <sighs> Haven't had a raid in ages. I had a lot yesterday. I had a fuck ton of raids yesterday. Tim Arden, welcome, welcome. All right, well, re re remember... <laughs> Let's remember to never let Zet out of the slave area. Damn. Gonna die from, uh... Toxic buildup sooner or later. And we'll get that out of the- hold that out of there, because it's a pain in the butt. How are we doing down here? Walls still need to get finished up, but they have been kind of focusing on this thing over here. Raids are fun. Yeah, the kill corridor is a lot of fun. Especially because we have the, the rapid fire ballistas in there, the scorpions. Those are great. I'm a big fan of those. Alright, how much power do these provide? 1100 watts uninterrupted. That's nice. Okay, power. Looking good. Uh, heat. Looking good. So we still need to work on getting more heat out here. So what we'll do is build one of these in the barn. We'll build one of these in the growing area. Uh, I have apparently disconnected a bit. I didn't mean to. Oh, wait, was that plumbing I was on? That is plumbing I was on. All right, that's fine. Really enjoy the- yeah, the cannons are pretty good. Auto- Auto Bong Killador was the best. Oh, that was a lot of fun, yeah. That was a whole lot of fun. I've- I've been thinking if I get down to it this time, it's been a very long time since I've used turrets. I might use- to try- try using turrets again in, um, in a different way. Because normally what I would do is I would put, like, a row of turrets and then my people would fit- would- would, uh, line up in front of them. And they would kind of fight together. And I don't like that, which is why I stopped using them. And what I was thinking about doing is kind of like partway down the hallway, like carve out a an area here and, and put a bunch of turrets in there. So when people come around the corner, they just get bull blasted with turrets. So like halfway down the hallway, they get to this like T-junction to tur turn off and just turrets in there. I had to build a vent between the barn and the corridor. Yes, yes, that's a good point. We'll grab that now. All this area does need to be shared. Yeah, a little flanking corridor. Like, the corridor wouldn't lead anywhere. It would just be filled with turrets. I think that would be fun. Just finished the second episode of my Frozen Assets on YouTube. Um, that win against Poland was crazy. That was... Yeah, no. The best thing about that win against Poland in that EU4 game was chat going, No, it's over. It's over. It's over. Just give up. Just start over. Just You're dead. But no, stubbornness wins through. I will stubborn my way out of problems. If Zet, Zet can walk, I'll, I'll have Zet come out here. I mean, you just got a really good beating. So what are the odds that you're going to... Uh, you're going to try to fight, uh, uh, run away again. We just beat your legs to half off. Wait for this bad boy. Because I really want to eat this Brachiosaurus. No usable food. Aw, oh, damn it. We must have used up the last of it recently. How's that cabbage? 96%. Okay, we're going to get some cabbage soon. Swabia campaign, stubborn wins again. Yeah, yeah. yeah stubborn my way out of a lot of problems. All right, well, it's warm enough in there to plant now. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and turn one of these on. I need to get some lights in here, too. There go. Just follow that along. And just go all along the wall here. Get some lights in here. 
so it's not that hideous. And it just, you know, every, having everywhere lit is better for people's moods. Anywhere where they're standing. Uh, it would be better to have the plumbing go through the walls as well. Just run this up like that. Uh, is that plugged in? It is, but we just need to crank up this guy a little bit. All right, that's maxed out now. Ooh, yeah, good. Temperature's getting better. That's what we want to see. Oh, hey, we got him! All right, eat him. Or you know what we should do is uh, wait for the toxic buildup to go down because I think if you slaughter him while he's got toxic buildup, he might still rot. All right. Oh yeah, and Zet, uh, get you back, get you back in here. Okay, okay. This is fine, this is fine. Everything's fine. This is fine. Things are coming together. Everything's coming up, Mole House. All right, all right. I'm very happy with the way this is turning out right now. <laughs> all right, we need, we need a couple lights in here. Uh, but we'll just use the, maybe not the, maybe not the red wall lamp, just the big wall lamps. The regular big wall lamps. One in there. And see how well it does. I don't know how long that's going to throw it. I don't know how far that's going to actually light this place up, but I think it'll be do, I think it'll do pretty good. I think there's a bunch of constructions going on right now because it's starting to lag a little. Usually, if there's a bunch of people doing a bunch of constructions, the game's like, Whoa. Yeah, excellent. Beautiful. Let there be light. Uh, I got about half the room, so one more on the, uh, the one more on the other side is going to be a problem, though. Uh, so we'll do two more for symmetry. Right, and you, I gotta wait for your you to to be less toxic, and then I will eat your flesh. All right, and the other th the other thing we can do is the irrigation sprinklers. We can utilize now, so I'll put one here, one here. Then we just need to get them plugged in, and they're good to go. Okay. And yeah, there's some of this stuff sitting around. I don't know why nobody's picked it up. It's been there for a long time. No storage space. Really? Uh, because it's probably technically a food. So I guess, I guess we could tell them to put it in here. Beer! And was it am brandy? Okay, that, that, I think that must be whiskey then. Uh, no, they're allowed to put whiskey in there. It's mead. Okay, bring the mead inside then. There you go. Sorry, my allergies are bothering me ever so slightly. I gotta say that we bought an air purifier the other day, which was a pain in the ass to get home because they wouldn't deliver it, so I had to walk down to the store and carry it home. It wasn't necessarily that heavy, but the box, but it had, you know, a lot of packing material in it. So it was like mildly heavy and then cumbersome, which made it more annoying. Uh, so it was annoying to get home, but it's sitting in the corner of my office and, uh, you know, just circulating the air throughout the room and, and, and cleaning it, basically. It does very, d does very nice things for my allergies. I've noticed in the two days we've had it running as I wake up in the morning. Before I'd wake up in the morning, I'd be like rubbing my eyes and stuffy nose and that doesn't happen anymore. So it's real nice. Really enjoy having it. It's also good for my computer because it sucks a lot of the dust and like animal hair out of the air. So it doesn't get sucked up into my computer. The other day, or it was a week or two ago now, I, uh, I spent like half a day cleaning out my computer. You know, I basically took the whole thing apart and washed everything. Because I noticed my CPU was getting hot and causing blue screens. It was, um, 
it was shutting down for safety. And when I pulled the heat sink off, it was just completely caked with, with dust. I was like, oh, okay, yeah, I probably need to deal with that problem. Grass is already growing nicely. Gotta go. See ya, Scooby. Thanks for coming. All right, we got the we got the thingies on there. We got the thingies on there. Beautiful. Stews are stooling. Something's happening. I got a raid. Subjects from the Fenlia Empire. Uh, they are. Oh, this is gonna be a fucking slaughter. This is gonna be beautiful. This is gonna be glorious. All right, I am going to, let's see, my safe zone, I'm going to change it a little bit. It could be basically the inside. Also, that that exterior wall murder, needs murder, to be kind of shorn up. Murder, murder, murder. Cool. Oh, this, this is gonna be a fucking slaughter and it's gonna be beautiful to behold. Um, make sure my people are set to the safe zone. So they don't go outside. We'll wait for these guys to attack, and then we'll uh, we'll set up the defenses and whatnot. Oh, and Axe, if I, by coincidence, a war merchant showed up. Uh, so hopefully, I mean, I, honestly, the best thing that could happen would be the war merchant gets into a fight and their animals die and they drop all their stuff. Seriously, though, I'm mildly considering butchering these people this time. Because it's winter, and we're starting to run low on food. So which direction are they going to go? Helvetii are attacking Rome. No, Caesar put them in their place. They never left Switzerland ever again. For those of you who might not know, the Helvetii... Uh, are basically the progenitors of life, kind of the progenitors of modern day Switzerland. It was a coalition of tribes that Caesar defeated. The Helvetian Federation. Fought one of the main battles on the banks of Lake Geneva. Uh, they're not going to run into them, but they are going very slow. Wait until the Marcomani. Um, <laughs> no, no, they they gave they gave their own the old what for? So uh, they're leaving because it's cold. Which probably means they will run into these guys over here. At least trying to hit them. No, all the pack animals got away. Ah, oh, shame. Pack animals got away. That dude got his face eaten off by those, ra I think they're razor, razor beasts or something like that. Let's see, what did you get eaten by? Razor Jack. Oh, nice little fight there. All right, but they're on the move, so assemble. Single column, single column. We're on one. Yeah, poor German Shepherd. I do love a good puppy. What just happened? Oh, it's just a raid. A, uh, so a war merchant ran into a raid, and they kind of wiped each other out. Alrighty. Crassus, uh, Mayor, Noroth. You're my frontline, guys. Love Gladiator. One of my favorite movies. Detti. Alright, and then we start li lining up some people. I heard, I heard Blood for the Blood God going off at the same time as Russell Crowe. It's like, oh, that's a little off, but okay. <laughs> All right, Zet, man, the scorpion, Mr. Mayor, you should be in the middle. 
Fitz. You got a shield too, Fitz? That's pretty cool. Corey, you go there. Fitz. And go here. Oh, I must say, I do feel like I'm missing somebody. It's because I am. Uh, these guys can pistol up on the way. Oh, you don't even have one. All right. Oh, this guy's fucked. Suffering for hypothermia as well. Something else is happening right now. Transporter crash. Probably, uh, expires in 12 hours. Two civilians and five Janissaries. Uh, so at least there's a decent defense there. I've got a little time to wait before I have to accept, though. All right, one group's already fleeing. Oh, Maul, what are you doing out there? Time for some organs. I actually just harvested someone recently. All right. Done and done. I love my Killador. Thing on the left of the tunnel, uh, we've got some solar generators, a landing zone, and a Tyrian farm, which uh, doesn't have enough cloth in it. Oh no, it actually does. Tyrian will be ready in 11 days. Any good ones down? I mean, we could check. Comedian, fisherman, ascetic. That's not half bad. Body modder. Ooh, I like this one. Oh, that's the one's got a bad back and missing a lung. And the rest of them are way out here, which means it'd be harder to get to them before they bleed out. Eccentric and sickly. Ugly. Nah. Collector. Honestly, uh, you know what might not be a bad idea, though? Oh, I was gonna say is... Trade slaves for tribute, but we're planning on pissing off the Empire. Sorry, I'm gonna eat this one now. It's... These guys are starting to starve. Uh, some of this grass is just about grown, though, so... Let's go ahead and turn that one on. Power is perfectly fine. Ooh, we got some actual stuff grown. And some of the cabbage is about to pop out, too. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm sorry. It's growing. Yeah, see, it's growing right now. Somebody come down here and murder this thing before it eats any more food. Ah, oh, good. All right, there we go. Ah, oh, all right, all right. All right, so there we go. There we go. There we go. They're, they're good now. They're good now. Guys, right, so slow down, guys. Slow, slow down, you fucks. They're getting their full. They're getting their fill. Alrighty, alrighty. There we go. Also, we got Bibi. We got a baby boy, which uh, will get eaten because I can't milk the boy. Clean the room of food. Yeah, that was kind of like a critical situation, though, because the the grass all grew at the same time, and they were all starving. So it just they just mulched it. And B to me, well, welcome. It once we get a more stable oh, ecosystem. Oh, somebody, please, they got the children. No, they will not. Uh, once we get a more stable ecosystem, the grass will be able to grow more, which will provide more nutrients. They won't all have to eat at the same time, so it'll get better. 
Ah, yes. We got some cow wool. Delightful. Cyrus, what's wrong with you? Oh, Aria sent to me Mike and I forgot about that. Which reminds me, uh, every okay, everybody is on meds now. Because we have meds to use. Mall get tended? I believe so. Yeah. Mall's good. Let's leave you to die. Excellent. Do you uh, not have a bunch of anima yak wool? Oh, uh, we've been using it. A lot of our clothing items are made out of that, so as it comes in, it gets turned into clothing items for everybody. And as we've greatly increased the uh, population of our colony, it means we've needed more of those. I, I could really use some workshops uh, now, and I'm thinking this area might be good for workshops. Because this was just a temporary uh, workshop, but now we need more things done. So I think we will go ahead. Uh, do I have water? Did I do water treatment? Or are we doing that now? I think I may have done water treatment. Oh. No, that's a water mill. No, I do have water treatment. Can I can I cram? No, I do have room to cram it in here too. Uh, Voldrin, can you build that? Because our water's contaminated right now. Although I don't know if the if the water treatment or the deep well is needed for fixing this contaminated water problem. Special buffs from the animal wool, like psi buffs. Actually, it gives you a little bit of psi uh, psi buff. Yeah, uh, it is a. I think it gives you increase to like the meditation and like gets rid of the neural heat faster. I believe. One of these days we'll we'll get rid of you know what we could do for now. I think about the fecal sludge there. Wish they would give a bonus to specialized workshops, blacksmith. Oh yeah, I do think that would be cool too. I agree with that. Ever build a sauna? We have not built a sauna yet. Uh, is the anima tree south here reduced we're getting cut? No, it's uh, it's safe. Uh, it can't get used where it is now, but I might be able to get a spot for it down here. We'll do that later. If I want psi abilities, I definitely think we're going to have to set up some, like, meditation. Oh, I just had an idea. Okay, okay. We get a whole bunch of shitty slaves... And we basically get them to worship the anima tree like 18 hours a day. Build them little huts next to the anima tree to live in so they don't have to go far to get there. And farm anima grass that way. I like that. <laughs> Organizing 2,000 Magic the Gathering cards right now. I Like, like that seems excessive. But in, in the grand scheme of things, it's probably not. <laughs> As I'm sure I've got probably like 600 or so around. And I was not even into it that hard back when I played. Got a few thousand as well. Yeah, see? <laughs> Nerd. You're going to get a bunch of tribal slaves. I'll find some. A second have a second anima south of my geothermal uh i don't think you could have two anima trees hunting buster no you're not you're you're bleeding out yeah you're not getting anywhere fast Oh, they're trying to haul the... the oh, wait, there is some excess over here. This thing's gonna rot, too. I was I actually, I was betting on the bear as well. It's gonna hit a trap. Oh, fuck. Uh, That's fine. 
New Colony, playing as Tusken Raiders. So Desert Desert Planet, where we go around raiding enemy encampments, is is nobles or uh, is nomads? Is that is that the idea? Got some cloth. We got some cabbage. We got potatoes. Everything's going smooth. How's the power situation? Not bad. We got water treatment. Which did fix the contaminated water supply problem. That's good to see. Okay, alright. Excellent, I'm happy about that. Azure light opposite the door in the tomb. Here. You think you think in one right you think in an extra right there? See how it looks? Excellent. Okay, workshops. That's what we were gonna do. Who? Oh, this. These are the um. Oh, what's it called? The guys. The guys who do the things. The thing guys. The guy things. Uh, tribute collectors. All right, we're gonna go five by ten. I actually no. My you. The workshops. Like I like to make specialized workshops. So we can just do five by five. Put in room for four four new workshops. Right here. And we could put in um, specialized storage areas too if we want. I like doing specialized workshops. Entirely unnecessary, but I do like doing that. Good. How are we doing down here? It looks like they've been munching maybe. Uh, are any of them, none of them are starving yet. Technically speaking, which is good. Which is a good thing. Excellent. We should put lights in this hallway. I've been neglecting to do that for a long time. So let's, uh... I think if we just start right here, we should be pretty good. These things throw light pretty far. So, yeah, there are a bunch of... There are a lot of Star Wars. I don't know how up-to-date they are is the thing. Uh, I know there was a ton around the 1.0 launch, but I don't know if they've been kept going. And the bank... Oh, we do need the bank console, too. Was it just called... Was it just called bank console? Was it called... Was it, uh... Was it under miscellaneous? Trading terminal. Contact with the bank, yeah. Ah, uh, I wish it fit in here. Okay, I can fit it in. Okay, this, this can't be moved, though. Shit. I'd have to uh, deconstruct and reconstruct to do that. Fudge balls. Hi, Dinah. Dinah's booping a microphone. How you doing, little booper? You doing a boop? You're done doing a boop. She's moving the microphone. She's slowly moving the microphone and she's booping it. How you doing? You doing good? Current Call of Cthulhu mods? No, I have not. How are they? Sad that the bear rotted. ASMR cat stream. Well, I mean, Dinah has been showing up pretty much every stream now, pretty consistently. Yeah, I, I do think it is time to burn the corpse hole. It looks pretty full in there. It's getting a little it'll get a little packed. Uh can you fit the banking terminal opposite the orbital trader? No. No, it doesn't fit in there. It's one tile too big. Well, I mean the animals the, the animal situation's far more stable. Move the green cabinet. Well, the green cabinet is not the problem. I could fit, I could rearrange things in here to fit, but I have to deconstruct them to do it, which means you're wasting material. Uh, thanks to a hide mood Annabelle experience and inspiration. Uh, inspired trade on Annabelle. Hey, Diney. Who's your good cat? 
I did a little bit more of my uh, mini painting, and by I did a little bit more, I mean I literally painted one third of one mini today. Uh, and I was actually pretty pleased with it, with, with the way it came out. I've been testing out, because, you know, I'm new to this, testing out different colors and techniques and using, like, base paints and washes and contrast paints and things like that. And I am 75% the way happy with the way uh, the orc flesh is coming out and, like, 90% happy with the way the metal has been coming out. Uh, because I did one of the, the orcs axes, and it looks really nice. Just needs a little bit of highlighting, and it'll be mwah. If you move the green cabinet, you can fit the trade. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can fit it in there, but it'll be ugly. I would rather waste material than build it ugly. Ugly lily. Because I'm an insane person. Oop, looks like we found some components on the way through here, too. Uh, I think we accidentally told them to mine a bunch of steel, too. But that's fine. Apparently, we finished making that Centurion armor. Alright, textiles. It's pretty good. Um, I would really love to get some people in specific outfits one of these days. Dinah is licking my hand right now. I think Binks tried to eat me in my sleep the other day, FYI. That, th thank you, Dinah. Oh, who's a sweet cat? Who's a sweet the boop? Thank you for the boop. She was just licking my hand. So I woke, I, I took a nap the other day and Binks was cuddling with me. And I woke up and started walking around the house and I noticed that I had, like, my hand hurt. I looked down at a big red mark on my hand. I don't know if it'll show up. Yeah, right there. You can see that. There's a big red mark on my hand right there. It's, it's like, that's actually... Oh, thank you, Dinah. Thank you, Dinah. Um, that little red mark is... That's after several days of healing. And that's from Binks licking my hand while I was sleeping. And, like, wearing the skin away. Uh, Dinah really wants some water right now. And she likes to drink it out of the glass. But you can see the water level's too low. So I'm going to go get Dinah some water real quick. And I'll be right back. Because otherwise, she won't get out of my face. BRB. Okay, here you go, Dinah. Here's your fresh water. And there's the butt. Alright. Alright, diggy diggy hole. Digging a hole. We got some nice workshops produced. Uh so let Voldrin is Caesar, so Voldrin needs to stand out. So I need a toga. We need to make a toga. Uh, so let's see. Do until you have one extra in stock of 50% or greater. Clear all. And... Excuse you! I am pretty sure Dinah just audibly farted at me. Uh, she just did it again. Just a little tiny. <laughs> oh, 
Oh god. Oh, and Assemble did a pet cam, so I guess I guess we will. Tyrian purple for the. I I don't have it uh, available right now. Um, but what we could do is we have a lot of uh wolf hide, right? Wolf skin, which is really good. I actually don't know. I don't know where we got so much fucking wolf skin. We'll make it out of wolf skin. All right. Uh, well, we got a. Somebody wants a pet cam. Said it a few days. Oh, it was like 10, 10 or 11 days or something like that. And I don't know how much is going to crank out of it. I have no idea how much we get out of it. All right, let's see. Um, actually, I got to change this to pet cam because on my, my stream thingy. Hi. Hi, you. What you, what you doing? It's it's pooch cam on my, on my stream thing. I got to change it to like pet cam. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at her. Oh, happy cat. Oh, what a happy cat. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, there's your scritchums. Oh, there's your ear scritchums. Oh, yeah, there we go. I don't know why she likes sweeted so much, but she does. Dinah loves sweet. Oh, we're going the wrong way. Dinah loves sweeted. Yeah. Hi. Hi, who's your precious cat? Who's your precious cat? Who's your most precious cat? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very, very much. Very thank you. Fallout New Vegas is getting a huge Star Wars. Fallout New Vegas? There, People are still modding New Vegas? Oh, look at that happy cat. Look at that happy cat. He's not going to want to leave now. I don't know if it's picking up on the microphone, but she's purring pretty good right now. Oh, he's a happy cat. Just a happy Happy cat. A happy, happy, happy cat. How's that Penny? Penny's actually doing amazing right now. The last, like, two weeks or so, Penny has had, like, a remarkable, like, uptick in her, her like, health and mood. Because before, for those of you who don't know, she had hip problems. And it just seems like she's gotten over the hump on that. And... It's funny because she didn't play, she didn't play very much. She didn't move around a whole lot. She wasn't very active, but it seems like recently, the last just two weeks, every morning she wants to play with a rope. She, she like, she waits for, for Leah to take Theo for her walk and she comes over to me and she brings me a toy. She wants to like play rope toy. She runs around a lot more. She's much better at going up and down stairs. Uh, she just seems much happier. So it's really, really nice to see Penny, like, jumping around and playing. It's actually kind of funny. I don't know if you guys ever seen, like, a Golden Retriever, like, play fight. But they do this thing where they kind of pounce on the ground with their front legs. They kind of do, they kind of go like that. And um, this morning, Theo and Penny were playing. And Penny was doing that thing while sitting on the couch. But she was kind of sitting up while doing it. So what she did was she she did the pounce thing but then was leaned backwards too far. So it just came out as her going like this in the air and then slowly rolling backwards and falling over. <laughs> it's kind of silly. Hi. Oh, you should be, I do need you to move off to the side though, Dinah. So it's just really nice to see Penny playing again and being more active and being able to like, I haven't seen her limp in a very long time. So you, so her hips are definitely doing way better. Dinah, can you do me a favor and just scrooch your little butt off to the side? I know I know you're a good cat, but maybe just hey! Just scrooch just a little bit. Thank you. Good to hear she's doing it. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 like very like heartwarming to see her doing better again. Alrighty, so wolf skin toga. And then what we're gonna want to make sure we do is we go to the everything and we take toga off so the regular folks don't wear it. And then we're going to need to make a new outfit. And we're going to call this Caesar. Kaiser. And basically take what take most things off and put the toga on. Uh, toga counts as what, though? Is that an outer? Skin? Oh, no! That's terrible! Skin, middle, and outer. It covers fucking everything. 
Uh, I can still put on gloves, though. I can still put on boots. So at least there's that. Uh, who's my best crafter? Uh, curd. Come over here and work on that. It better be a nice toga. Alright, so we've got a, a good wolf skin toga. Provides like no armor and minimal. Oh god, it's really terrible. Oh. Well, um, Voldrin, I'm gonna, what I should do now is that just to just do this. Go to Voldrin. I still want him to wear a toga, it's just thematic. So, clear forest and put you in the Caesar outfit. And he should switch it out. Oh, that was the orbital power beam targeter. No, I, I put that back on you. Well, maybe somebody, uh, yeah, no, um, Curd. Or Perturby, maybe. Curd, why don't you force, yeah, Curd, you do it. Force equip orbital beam targeter there. All right, so now it's just the toga. Toga, gloves, and boots. Where, yeah, be beads in the tabards are still applicable, so that's good. And um, something on the head, which would be like the laurel crown. Uh, here. No, uh, here. Got it. So, uh, beads for the neck. Uh, crown. Uh, Jarl's crown, kind of crown. Uh, I thought it was called the laurel crown. Is it called a wreath? It is called a wreath. All right, we can make a we can make one of those. Let's see. I thought it was at the bottom. Oh, is it in here? It is. Okay. So clear this. Uh, it is 50, 50 metallic, which means if we make it out of gold, it's five hundred. Uh, I'll make it out of plasteel, so, something fancy at least. Glasses or sunglasses or goggles. Well, we don't have any of those right now, but we could at the, at the least we could add it onto the thing for later. Um, glasses or sunglasses or goggles. Okay, add that onto the list. The, the things that are... Oh, and a bunch of other people came over and were like, yeah, I'll take those clothes. Oh, a uh, tabard. I didn't put that on. What am I making the tabards out of right now? And okay, I'm gonna change that to sauropod leather, because then it could be useful as an, an armored outer piece. Annabelle, you're pretty good at this, right? Yeah, eight. That's not bad at all. Making some dusters. Some, ni some nice armored dust... Uh, not dusters. Uh, nice armored tabards for people. Uh, I don't think we told everybody else not to wear the wreath. I hate that it's called a wreath, by the way. a laurel crown does it ha does it give you anything it l it's no so oh god i wish these I, I i wish the tabard was an outer layer or the tabard the um the toga was it either like a skin layer or an outer or a middle not all of them um and i i wish they actually gave you some tangible benefit other than just flavor But that's okay. That's okay. I I I'm, I don't mind taking a efficiency hit for flavor.
Beauty negative three. Uh, all items laying around are negative beauty. So like anything laying on the floor as just an item that's not being used has negative beauty. And Dinah's back in front of the monitor again, FYI. Fuck! All right, a bunch of people got the plague. All right, Richie, you know what to do. <laughs> Right, you're gonna you're gonna be in a bad mood for a while because you're sick. So get some of the good stuff. Flash storm. Are these people not on patient one? No, they are. What are you doing? Taking meal to inventory. Food is getting low because we're not cooking with the uh, the meat. We're only cooking with veg. Resting. Okay, now now you're going to bed. Okay, good. All right, Kurd's in bed. Cyrus is in bed. Corey's in bed. Jig is in bed. Zet is in his bed. All right, the Antonine Plague has hit. Unfortunately. All right, all right. Well, um... Richie, maybe you could do me a favor and preach health on Kurd. Okay, wake up, because that's one of my doctors. Yell at them about being healthy. There you go. Dinah, you really, I, I need you to, to either lay down or move, okay, she's laying down. Lay down or move off to the side, please. Nope, okay, she's sitting back up. Okay, come on. I'm gonna have to pick you up and put you out of bed if you don't get out of the way. <laughs> but you're being so sweet. Yeah, lay down. Yeah, yeah, see? A good, nope. Okay. Up and down and up and down. Come on. Lay down. I'm, I'm trying to pet her until she lays down. Okay, we're, oh, uh, nope. Ah. She like starts laying down and then goes, nope, gonna stand back up. And now her tail is on my keyboard. All right, this is fine, this is fine. I gotta handle a little plague. We do have medicine. We got industrial and glitter world if need be. Good use of that, of that rifle. Proud of you. Let's check to see if I have any more lever actions in here I can make use of, but I don't see any more. I see a shotgun, but that's it. Cagapods. Shotgun's not, but the double barrel shotgun is a good weapon. Chinchilla fur stuff. Chinchilla fur's really good. Well, chinchilla fur's very beautiful. Also, uh, no more complaints from the animals recently. That's good. So are you... Moving stuff around? Okay, yeah, you're fine. It's fine. Something's happening. Kind of want to take a look at it in just a sec, actually. Safeguarding an acolyte. Ooh. Uh... Killers to hunt them. Raid of double strength, roughly seven foot soldiers, three heavy weapons platforms, six hussars, five veterans. That doesn't seem too bad, really. Hey, Richie. Uh, you must keep Tim Barrow's mood above 35%. Appreciate accommodations. Uh, if it's above 50, six troopers will be placed under my control. That, I mean, honestly, I don't care about the goodwill or the honor with them, but I, I will be, I would be willing to accept for. For this, auxiliary AI construction, side trainer, animal pulser, and a bunch of gold. Uh, hired by the the killers. Let's take a look at the killers. What what are they? All right, Dinah, come on. Hey, hey. She just hissed at me. <laughs> Tried to hit me. Finish applying your text No, I still got to do that. The killers. What are the killers?
Junkers? This confederation of... Okay, they're pirates. So they would... They could potentially be really nasty. They rarely use melee weapons. Prefer to keep a distance to the enemy to fully utilize powerful war caskets. So that, that, that might be a lot more difficult than I initially anticipated. I don't have a lot of high armor penetration. Hmm. I'm on the I'm on how long do I have to decide? Seven days. So I'm I'm on the fence a little, especially right and maybe okay, maybe we wait for my people to stop being plagued, and then we consider it. Animals are doing good. Let's tell them to stop bringing my food down here to feed them. Excellent. I would love it if we were growing more food. Uh, but that's not gonna happen. Not anytime soon. The only thing I could do to get more food was to switch some of these non-food production ones out to food production. Which, I mean, we can do. Once we get enough, uh, like a comfortable backlog of meds there. Also, we do need to apply the uh, tech prints. All right, who's sitting on there? Bahamut, why don't you go do me a favor and apply that then? You're the one sitting on there right now. How long till the food? Uh, a day. Hey, um. Ammo supply. Ammo is perfectly fine, honestly. And where's Bahamut? There's another one in here. Like that. A ammo is good. We've stockpiled a lot of it that I've thieved. So we're good on ammo. Here's our ammo storeroom. So that this is kind of the important one because this is the one that I'm using but can't make myself. The industrial ammo. So there's a lot. There's a thousand rounds there. So, uh, does somebody want to burn the corpse hole? Some fire bombs here. Nine charges in there. Who's, uh, An Annabelle, come over here and equip some fire bombs for me. Stand in the thingy. And throw a thingy. And then run out here. Lock the door. Drop. Why do you have a shotgun? Annabelle, why do you have a shotgun? Why did I find a shotgun in your pocket? You sneaky little devil. All right, uh, let's just block us. I will end up using some of these areas later on, but not right now. So for now, we'll just block them off. North, North has a stick, but he also has an axe in there too. Cagapads. Uh, Devil Strand hood and some sauropod leather shoes. So I can tell my people they're allowed to walk outside now again. They don't need to go out there for a lot of things very often, so it's fine by me. It's been a while since the animal situation was stable. I don't really have to worry about them too much. So what we can do as well is expand the cleaning zone. So they utilize this. Dinah, you're doing the thing. She knows she shouldn't be standing up in front of the monitor. So she she was laying down and she just started going like this and like sitting back up again. And I, I said, Dino, you're, you're doing the thing. And she went, laid back down. Clean the barn. Ah, oh, no. The barn is meant to get shit in. So it's fine if it's dirty. Smooth all that out. The barn is is built to be pooped in. What's on fire? Uh, well, it was the corpse hole, Nina. Okay. 
Okay, okay. Hang on. I'm gonna pick you up. You're gonna get mad, but I'm gonna pick you up. We're going to the bed. She's not mad. She's still purring. She's still purring. Thought she was gonna hiss at me, honestly. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was just a pile of corpses. You know, you know, no, nothing out of nothing out of the ordinary. Just just your traditional pile of corpses. We are actually out of meat. There is some jerky that they can eat perfectly fine, but we're going to have a bunch of stews pop out soon. Not ideal. Yeah, our food production's bad. Because we got a lot of people. But at least we're not feeding it to the animals anymore. There's no animals out there. Which means the only thing I can do is grow it. I hate to do it, but we might need more hydroponics. Or we might just need to cut down on the amount of non-food things we're growing. Spewer, spewer, I have to go break. Can't I call a trader? Uh, yeah, I could. I could call a trader. We're not there yet, though. We're not, like, in dire straits. It's okay. We're all right. Power situation is stable now, but another, uh, what's it called, would completely upend it. We could use more water. I think, did we... It, we are doing deep wells right now, so if we want more water, a deep well would be the way to go. Hurry again. Good, yep, don't use your melee weapon on that. Just hit him with your with your pew pew gun. Hit him with your stick. All right, we can unlock that now. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Mr. I think what we'll do. Mr. B -double -O -Z. Is maybe start swapping out some of. Some of these hydroponics bays for more food. Because boy, do we ever not grow it quickly. Uh, we could also use um, another one of these down here to help this area. Wouldn't do, I don't think it would do anything for the hydroponics, but it would help the other stuff. Uh, okay, a dark beast has died and released a cloud of sun-blocking mechanites. Okay, so forced fog, toxic spewer, and uh, forced eclipse. It's fine. Allowed to cook with milk? I don't think so. I think right now it's just building up. So there is 300 milk we could use. Did you just eat jerky? I think the woolly mammoths just ate a bunch of jerky. All right, that was a potato. That's fine. No complaints about that. Also, how's Voldred? You got the thingy on? You do have the thingy on now. Good. Re repairing a marble sarcophagus. Uh, okay. Hang on. Now, this is completely unnecessary work that you're coming out here to try to do. Not a lot of gear on. Plus, steel wreath, wolf skin toga. Sauropod leather tabard, animal yak wool gloves, and some boots. Just a little bit. But it looks good. I gotta say that. It looks good. We haven't made any beads yet. We haven't actually told them to construct beads, but that's because normally I don't want to make them out of plasteel or uranium. And we don't have a whole lot of that just yet. Research? Uh, let's see. We got flamethrowers, swimming pools, and a hot tub. I guess we'll take swimming pool because it's the cheapest right now. Uh, but I can put in a deep well. Just plug that bad boy in. Now we'll do it right there. And, like, uh, work attire, like Richie, could really use some work attire. So, what do we got? We've got... Well, you're a doctor. We don't know, we, we, we don't know how to make 
Okay, okay, okay. So we don't know how to make appropriate work attire for Richie yet, because Richie's a doctor. Uh, so what we could do is make him things that would approve, uh, improve the social skill. Because Richie is also my main warden. So I believe the formal stuff does that. That's slave suppression off. Wait, really? Wearing a nice shirt keeps slaves in line? Uh, okay. Let's see, formal vest. That does it too. Okay. Top hat. Top hat has social impact. Well, I guess. Let's see. Noble fur coat. Uh, that's a Viking thing, so that's not giving you that. There's no benefits in there. Other way around. Minus reduces the slave suppression. You want to increase it. What would the point in even having that on? An offset applied to the wearer slaves uh, applied to the wear the wearer slave suppression. Higher value suppresses slaves longer, while lower value make make them rebel. So wearing fancy stuff would make the slaves rebel more also more often. So it says wearer. So. Uh, uh, well, offset when eclipse, slave suppression offset, minus 10%. So if the slave is wearing this, it would make them want to rebel. That makes more sense. So you you put you put your slave in a tuxedo and they're like, I'm a fuck off out of here. Okay, okay. I think that I think that's 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 what we're looking at. I in, but in 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 terms of Social stuff, I think some of the other things are better. Like the regular vest is social plus 10. Let's see. The shoes are social. Oops. I just clicked on something. Let's see. Um... I think those are the only two in here that would do it. All right, all right, all right. Well, let's let's do this. First things first, manage outfits, new outfit, and we're going to call this the uh, the warden because that's what he does. That's what he is. So clear that, no tainted, 50% or greater. And we want we want shoes. We want the regular vest. Because apparently the formal vest doesn't really do anything, but the regular one does. Okay. The top hat looks... Well, we just type in hat. I don't think the bishop hat does anything. No, it doesn't. Bowl, bowl, actually, bowler hat looks like it's pretty... That's social 15. Ooh, commissar's hat is what you need to wear to beat your slaves. Dame hat is uh, 15 as well. Wait. <laughs> Jester hat, 15. A top hat's 20, though. So, yeah, we'll go top hat. We'll go top hat. Uh, we don't have any fancy pants to wear. Like we don't have any bottoms that would do anything. I don't uh, available to us. I don't think. Uh, uh, affect ideology stuff. I know negotiation. It, it it would be anything that is using your social skill. Trousers. I don't think I have that yet. Uh, no, I do have trousers. Okay, trousers. Um. See, shirt and tie. Shirt and tie. So we take shirt and tie. Okay, okay. 
beads. Everybody's got to wear... Or do we want maybe a scarf for looking dapper? Or is the... Is, is the is, what do you think that... We'll just go with the beads for now. Or, you know, I'll put them both on and let them decide. That's fine. Uh... Glasses or sunglasses. That, that's a good start. That's a good start. So we need to add on trousers. Oh, I was adding, I, I was just adding on things. We don't actually have all those yet. We have button down. I don't think we have sh like shirt and tie. We don't have, I don't think. No, we have t-shirt, button down shirt, formal shirt. Fleece shirt. Yeah, some of those we don't even have yet. Shame. Because I was just looking over the list of everything when I was setting up the outfit. Not what we actually have. Alright, so... Richie. You're going to go to the Warden's outfit, which right now doesn't have much on it, but we'll fix that. Formal vest, prestige robes. So we can make the top hat. So we can do that. Just tell him to keep one laying around, basically. All right, let's, um, bears, a, a bear skin top hat sounds pretty cool. I think that sounds nifty. Bear skin top hat. All right, uh, let's see. I think, I, I, I'm, I'm thinking one of these, fa this fancy pants guy should be wearing a cape too. That just sounds cool. They're all, we'll make a, um, we'll make a wolf skin cape. There we go. Wolf skin, well, it'll be a bear, bears and wolves. Okay. Uh, a pair of shoes. go keep a couple pair of shoes around okay, I don't care what the shoes are made out of honestly apparently we already had a couple of those we probably pulled them off some dead people might have to wear a jumpsuit for a while while we get the rest of it made up because we don't have a top or a bottom yet so clear all let's just uh, keep a couple ju we'll just keep a few jumpsuits on hand right now and these will be got a sauropod. Because armored jumpsuit sounds pretty good. Okay. I think that's gonna be it for now. Wait, vest. Regular vest. Uh, we'll make that out of bear as well. And you have just uh, keep uh, two available. Again, same thing. All right, now what we're going to, uh, we got one more thing we got to do is go to the anything. We need to take off to make sure the regular folks aren't wearing vests, aren't wearing shoes. They want they should be wearing boots. Uh, keep the jumpsuits off of them right now. Uh, let's see, the top hat's off of them. Is there anything else? cape and we'll keep the the cape off of them as well so that only you can prevent forest fires there we go now we need to just uh find my best crafter which is curd right curd you're very hungry apparently so why don't you come over here eat some insect jelly I think I need to start uh, telling them they're allowed to make food out of my meat now because we've been kind of saving it up and we're running out of food. All right, there we go. Now you come over here and start working that. 
Uh, these, we can start eating the meat. And actually, hang on. Don't, I got a fair bit of meat laying around. That's, that's, that's good. Don't use the insect meat. Don't use the jerky. And, uh, animal products. Don't use fertilized eggs. Insect jelly, royal jelly. Everything else is fine. All right, bearskin top hat, first thing on the list. We're gonna have a new outfit set up for Richie when he gets out of this mental break. Heard you're missing an eye, right? Yeah, kind of. You also got a minor case of the plague too, but you're fine. All right, an excellent bearskin top hat. I think that'll look dapper as shit. Just, for, just remember for the future, top hats make slaves want to rebel if you let them wear them. I don't know why, but it does. Bless you, Dinah. Did you want to, do you need to go poop? You want to get out? Go ahead. I think Dinah needed to use the litter box. All right, all right. Is there a mon I have not seen a monocle mod myself, but it I would I think a monocle mod would be very nice. Also, look at Cyrus. Look at Dapper as shit wearing some armor, commissar hat, dapper looking scarf. Cyrus is looking cool. Uh I think I figured out where some of my damn food's going. The mammoths are coming in and eating it. Okay, so I need to set up a new zone for the for like the hauling animals, basically. New area, and we'll call this, uh, yeah, H, we'll just go with H animal. So like the animals that I don't want, that I want hauling around, but I don't want eating my shit, basically. So what we'll do, what we should do is manage areas, invert this, and then just clear it out of the spaces. I don't want them munching on my food, basically. Kind of just do that. They, they're, they're allowed everywhere else except for those two areas. Actually, um... Because they can eat off the... I've seen them eat off of the stove before, too. So stay out of there. And then... We'll set up the woolly mammoths to H animal. The rest are okay. Hey, Stubbs, how you doing? I bet that's why I haven't been producing a lot of food, honestly. Because they've been eating it before it gets to full growth. I bet that's been the problem. Right. Richie's still on that mental break. Oh. Looks like Annabelle's working on the next thing. Uh, that's that's a okay. Starting to work on the jumpsuits. Kind of can't wait to see what Richie looks like in the top hat. Every time I wash my hair, it looks like I've killed a baby unicorn. Oh, I saw. Did you did you like dye your hair with the temporary stuff that comes out after a couple washes? Is that is that what it is, Stubbs? I, I can only imagine. I've seen what bathrooms look like after people dye their hair in there, though, though. Though, though? Yeah, it usually looks like a war crime. Especially if you do it with, like, a red color. <laughs> Alright, nice. Legion. Oh, we, we finished up some Legion of Curd. Can you seriously... Why, a, a, why are you carrying this? And B, finish that damn thing. Not professionally done, not exaggerated, but still a little bit of runoff. Oh, okay. All right, there's the cape. Oh, everything else got finished already. All the clothes were finished before Richie even got out of the mental break. Also, these these fucking uh, tower shields are so cool looking. I, I've never actually looked at the stats on them. Armor sharp, 75%. Armor blunt, 
Melee dodge chance minus two, shooting accuracy minus two, movement speed minus 0.4. Okay, so significantly reduces your ability to uh, shoot or dodge, but is an extremely good shield. I really think we should start using some of those. See you, that. As always, thanks for coming by. Fitz is switching out some Legionnaire armor. cool tower shields mountain homes are we doors we're we're space romans Spa can, can you not tell by by voldrin's toga and laurel crown which doesn't exactly come off as a toga and laurel crown but i still like the looks of it also i really should organize these people a little better like uh so so i can grab groups of specific people easier like crassus is a is a melee person so let's grab the ones that are specific melee people Jidge 20 construction to keep them together. Like, Mayor, you go with Crassus. And Daddy, you go with Crassus. Curd, uh, so I guess I guess right now, is it really just those three? Well, Rich, Richie is my doc, so not you. You could do either. You could do either. You could do either. You could do either. Oh, Noroth. Here we go. I knew there was another one. Fitz. You could do either. Cyrus. Same thing there. Same thing there. Well, well, Kurt is better at melee, but is a doctor. Not my main doctor, though, because you're missing some body parts. So what I'm going to do is this. Richie is my main doctor because Richie is healthy-ish. And what I'm also going to do is, so I can differentiate them a little better, I'm going to make sure they're all carrying their melee weapons out. Not you. You. Richie. Okay, Richie. R Richie's out of the mental break now. Good. Does anybody need to be converted? No. Excellent. Good. Hellenistic space Romans or non-Hellenistic? We've been trying to make them Hellenistic. Rumbo chase for goodwill. Oh, and it's time for an orgy, apparently. That'll put everybody in a better mood. And Voldrin gets to lead his first orgy. The orgy of Bacchus. Even the slaves are involved. Fun. Every partici every, everyone participating in the ritual is plus five. Uh, do the quality ritual. Development uh, points went from eight to 14. Nice. We got a lot of god ducats out of that. Excellent. Also, uh, water is a problem. So, ground capacity is good. I think maybe it's the pump. Yeah, we need more pumps. Put in two more water pumps. Battle music during that. Well, it was a very fun orgy. Uh, uh, something we should do as well is start making sure the appropriate people are wearing my armor. Because right now, kind of just everybody can put it on willy-nilly. It's getting to be a good-sized orgy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we, it's, <laughs> we have come a very long way from the first solo orgy. You're 100% correct. 100% correct there. That first one was a little on the lame side. There was one person there and he didn't do a good job. We're going to want to get power through the walls here. Boom, boom. Boom. This is all done already. Yeah, excellent. These are going to be workshops. Cool. Are you implying the solo or it, it, it literally did. The solo orgy literally failed. It was sad. Yeah, I definitely think the problem we were having with our veg was I wasn't paying attention to some of the animals and they were going in there and munching it. Because I'm already seeing like the corn grow, like more full grown veg that I'm used to seeing. 
Uh, these four I'm going to swap out now because they have just been um, harvested. So let's see. We, there's a lot of options I've never used before. Uh, thrive in snow and receive considerable boost to growing in snow. Oh, as long as it also, uh, as long as it is also growth season, they won't grow or be able to plant it otherwise. They won't. Okay, Brussels sprouts would actually be good outside, it looks like. They still, it says they thrive in snow, but they won't grow below zero. So it's still too cold for them to grow. But that would be a good crop to put outside. Very resistant to fire. Non-flammable. It grows best in tropical warm. Chick, please. Fast have good yield. Require a lot of space to be stored. So they don't stack well. Garlic. Very little yield. But it'll grow in almost every uh, terrain. Green beans, lettuce. Eaten raw like strawberries. But needs to be grown in shade. Okra is very, very resistant to damage. Make less damage for prong, uh, lack of light, so not bad. Uh, peanuts. Divided uh, peanuts is sown by throwing the seeds haphazardly in the grow zone. Plants will automatically be replanted. We got sunflowers. Radishes. Very short growth period. This means it is an efficient crop if you need small amounts of food fast. Sowing and harvesting work will be the most important factor, which really wouldn't be a, a big deal for a decent size. I'm going to put some radishes down. Because I don't mind if we need a. It's not a lot, and we have good planters, so. I was thinking maybe we could give Zet and Annabelle like a jacket or something. Not pants, but maybe a jacket or something. I, I would not say no to that. Richie, how you looking? Uh, what are you wearing? You got a vest and shoes on, but nothing else. Where's that top where'd that top hat go? Nobody else is wearing it. Isn't it sitting in here? Somewhere? There it is. Why didn't you put it on, Richie? Maybe, maybe tomorrow. Maybe we'll give it a day. We'll see what happens. Oh, I can build the sleep accelerators too, which apparently I have. Ooh. Medicine production. Medical bags are great. It's a little sack you can wear as a utility pouch that increases your ability to tend. Great for doctors. Alrighty, alrighty. So, uh... Diplomacy, peace talks now. I am going to. Do we want to give? What do we? What? What? What kind of outer layer would we want to give to our slaves? And do we want to give them a hat? Muffalo pelt rug. Oh, pelt rugs are cool. Uh, let's see. Rags. That's it. okay. Give them rags. Set of rags meant to cover oneself offers almost no protection or warmth. Okay, that's an option. To make him wear horse masks. Head ba I could force him to wear head bags. Uh, oh, is the slave strap an outer layer? It might be. You might be right. Here, let's take a look. Slave body strap. It is, so they can't wear a jacket. Oh. Alrighty, alrighty. Is there any are there any other items that gives you positive slave suppression offset? I might actually just Google that. Um I think it's just those two. As far as I remember. Um, yeah, it's just those two. Those are the only two items. 
And everything else is a negative. Okay, those are the only two items you can give them that will that will actually do that. Uh, alrighty then. Well, if we want to, we can give them some sort of hat. But I don't know what's befitting. I was thinking the head bag more than anything else. Just keep them. I guess we just keep them naked. Yeah, just keep them naked. It, it means that the the even if they wanted to try to run away, they'd probably freeze to death before they hit the edge of the map. So yeah, no, it's fine. It's fine. All right, that, that's we'll go with that. Did get a little bit of cloth grown before we uh, t turned it off too. But I did I did need more food. So ah, uh, the blood's good for the fields. Yeah, look, we actually have mature grass down here now. That's great. And those are going to grow real fast. Beautiful. Alrighty. Okay, our, our food is getting better now. The animal food inspired planting on Cyrus. All right. How's the light down here, by the way? It's perfect. All right, so we're just going to throw another one of these way down here. And now what I can do is take the little lights. And we can give light to each of these workshops. And we can start setting them up. Give them just some wood doors. Because we're going to be in and out of those quite often. Slave, either, slave suppression uh, won't decay. Makes it a lot less likely that they'll try to flee in the first place. Yeah. Um, I'm just... I, I, I wish there were more uh, items that gave slave suppression. Rather than just those two. I think it would be cool if there were more. Alright, so uh, what I'm going to do first is start moving some of the items I already have. Is this electric? It is. Okay, so that's electric. Uh, we can reinstall this right there. You can take one of these with you. You can take, uh, what is this? Pigskin chair. So we got a nice leather chair in there. And then same thing with this. This bronze uh, electric tailor bench. Bring it in over. Reinstall this over here. Reinstall that. Bring the tool chest with you. Terror statues in their bedrooms. Uh, I do have gibbet cages in there right now. Does it does it tell you how much a gibbet cage actually does? Uh, it provides 25% terror. Pollen trumpet flowers is what I give my animals to eat. Uh, is that more efficient? I remember there's a reason to use those, but I, I can't remember the, the scenario because I can't remember their stats. Also, it would behoove me to go ahead and finally tell them to start smoothing this area out. All right, so production. Uh, do I know how to make cheese? I do know how to make cheese. I could tell them to start making cheese. Giving their handler the authority cap. Oh yeah, the authority cap is is good is good for that. I think the whip might do something as well, but I can't remember. Uh, let's see. So we can do the smelter. Oh, we actually do have the biofuel refinery, so I can I can get chem fuel. I didn't realize we had that research. Uh, I don't know what the crap been a uh, simple bench stocked with tools for assembling crafting prim. So I guess the, the the bench is just better than the spot. All right. Uh, we do have access to a machine table now. Ooh, yeah. Let's let's put in a machine table. I think I have a chair sitting around somewhere to use too. Yeah, I got a chair I uninstalled at some point. So let's get that put in. Do I, what do I know how to make? Okay. Right. No, no, no. We did unlock machining and microelectronics, so we can make our own ammo now. That's good to know. I, ca I can't make any more... more firearms other than the musket and the flintlock, but I can start equipping more people with better guns. Also, the tool belts are really good. 
This is good to know. Uh, shred max do forever. That's fine. Mod that suspends crafting based on resources rather than results. Uh, what do you mean by that? Suspends crafting based on resources. Are you saying like, if, if I have less than 500 steel, stop making ammo? Something like that. Oh, some radishes already finished up. All right, how are we doing on water now? Much better. Good. Treated and safe. Eh, yeah, fuck. Of course. Of course. All right. Um, down here, we should also... I'm gonna, I do want to put in a biofuel refinery and a electric smelter. Both of those would be good to have sitting around to use. So those will be my four workshops. This will probably... I, I got, Right now, it's art in cracking blocks. It's fine. Is it gonna is it gonna kill everything? Is it gonna last long enough to kill everything? Prob usually does. I didn't have very many solar. I, I feel like the the game knows. Like I didn't have very many solar flares before I installed the hydroponics. I put the hydroponics in and eh. if food over three thousand, make chem fuel until food less than two thousand. I do not know of a mod that would do that. That doesn't sound like something that would be terribly hard to mod, though. So I would imagine it would be perfectly feasible that someone has done that. And I and I get the uh, the benefits of of oh uh, yeah. So we lost all of that. All right. Well, as these are down now, what I'm going to do is switch all of these over to radishes as well oops just to keep cranking out some veg quicker oh we got a raid zet's wife is here uh it's a whole lot of it's a lot of them but it's a lot of primitives that's only like 50. Are they uh, prepare for... They're going to attack immediately, so we got to set up. Alrighty. Rotting animal corpses in poop storage. Uh, don't know. That probably was a mistake on my part. There it does say corpses and chunks. We don't want that. Alright, well, we're going to murder a bunch of people. They do have uh, a lot of ranged weapons and firebomb. Well, it's only one firebomb. Firebombs can be problematic, but there's literally only one of them. All right. As is tradition, slaves go to the scorpions. And now I can just do this to make my life easier. Grab these five. Time to go to the front line. And what we'll do is we'll make sure, because you're the centurion... You go in the middle. Oh, Noroth has the tower shield. That looks so cool. And then, uh, and then we go. Th then we basically go down the line and decide who who gets to stand where and do what. Mahamut, uh, I got. <laughs> More people who know how to shoot than don't. I think I, I think I need more people on the scorpions, honestly. So of, of these guys, who's the worst shot? So Fitz, man the scorpion. Cyrus, man the scorpion. Knight, move up. All right. Well, we're in. We're in position. Oh, some of them are just coming through the wall. The fucks. I'm not sure why some of them are trying to go through the wall and some of them are actually coming this way. Okay, well, now they don't seem to know what they're doing. Well, Grasshopper's gonna fucking die.
All right, and Ball Creer Creaker, Ball Creaker. Oh! Rib cage, stomach, sternum, leg, shoulder. Hair, you're the next one. All right, now that now that now they're coming in together. Oh, that! Oh my God, that first wave though got fucked. That was Mr. Firebomb. Oh Jesus Christ! Oh my God, that first wave got absolutely trounced. All right, one group's one, one group's running. They're running out though. All right, they made it to melee. Some of these guys actually have guns on them. I didn't realize that. So they can they can switch for now. Oh, Kurt got hit in the pinky. So so far the so far the worst wound we've taken is a is a bruise to the pinky. You ever get pikeman, you'll have some trouble. Oh, I'm sure I fucking will. That's a situation where we're just going to have to uh, take it as it comes. Wait, was that the whole? That was the whole thing. That went really well. <laughs> that, was, that, was, that was fun. Oh my god. Bike Man Lancer's like 40 range, right? Yes, they are. Okay, so uh, now we are definitely going to start capturing more people to Beslaven. Underground or tough kind? That one's great. Okay, so, um, capture. Slowpoke, bloodlust. That one's perfectly fine. Capture. That one's missing a heart. That one's missing a heart, and that one's missing a heart. Jaguar. Uh, animal level, fast learner, neurotic. We don't want neurotic. We don't want a neurotic slave. Oh god, like everyone else is fucking dead. Okay, I guess, I guess neurotic slave it is. Where'd I put curd? Curd, uh, stabilize that one. Ones without hearts are good for words. It would take too much time to grab them, haul them over, and try to get organs out of them before they'd pass away. Well, I mean, I probably could do that, but I would I would most likely only be able to get one organ each, and uh, then I wouldn't be able to focus on getting the slaves I want because my doctors would be harvesting organs. Go ahead and capture that one now. Uh, and let's see. Richie, I'm going to need you over this way. Prepare. I feel like I need a bigger, uh, bigger, bigger slave chamber now, too. Also, maybe start feeding slaves like nutrient paste meals or something would be nice. I only got room for three in here. That guy's face is a little bloody. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh, I got a bunch. Of, I, got, I got 29 meds out of it, too. They hit. Okay, so these traps never get hit. So I should probably get rid of them. I like how this thing broke before I ever used it. Uh, do, 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 curd. Oh, just, just, uh, 
Ten without meds, please. There we go. Alrighty. One of your most effective killadors in a while. Yeah, yeah, it's it's working out pretty well. It's working out pretty well. What I did this time was I made it wider. I usually go with a three wide killador, but with enough people with guns, five wide is plenty. It, you can get more guns in there easier. It works out well. Alrighty, well, uh, first things first, everybody needs to be... Oh, I should have some of these people fight for my entertainment. Make sure they all convert as well. Uh, did Richie ever put on your clothes? No, you're not. Why is Richie not wearing his clothes? Did I fuck up the thing? Richie, you're on Warden. Top hat is on. So why is Richie not wearing the clothes that are available? Having a bath. I'm kind of curious. Normally it's not an issue. Tending to curd. Converting Borba. Borba Fett. Like how everybody just, just grabbed a bunch of food out of here. Uh, uh really set right on the outfit? Is it because she... Oh, I didn't think about that. Richie's female. That means we need the dame hat, not a top hat, right? Was that what it's called? I think that... I, I think I messed that up. Yeah. Okay, so... Is it called a, is it the dame the dame hat? That's social 15 slate. Okay, or was it the the regular ladies hat? Ladies hat is the one we want. Ladies hat. And isn't there a specific Oh, I wish I wish you could sort by male female clothes. I thought there was a a different vest you could wear too. There's a skirt. Which is social impact 12. Great dress. Yep, there we go. Okay, so boom. We want the great dress on there. We got a lot of mammoth wool. So we'll make it out of mammoth wool. And do until you have one sitting around. You're the only one who's going to be wearing it. Just, uh, let's see. Skin layer. And it covers a lot. Okay, good. And then, so we need the, we could also do the ladies hat. Yeah, there we go. There we go. We'll make that out of bear. And then I need curd to come over here and work work that for me. There we go. Make a nice nice mammoth wool great dress and a bear skin lady's hat. Give your top hat to the next best social guy. That guy's dead. There we go. There's a nice dress. And do we add dress to the warden outfit? There's a dame dress too. Which are roughly equivalent. Put either one on. All right, is that the hat? There's the lady's hat coming. So we'll see if Kurd swaps that out. Can we wear a vest over a dress? I imagine yes. Also, uh, 
metal from slag. Do forever. Uh, and let's take that radius down. Is that did that hit my did that actually hit the area? No, it did not. Okay, there we go. We'll just we'll just do that for now. Oh, Richie's wearing the dress. Did you? What the fuck? Did you stop making the hat so you could go make another dress? I need Richie to look dapper as shit. Okay, at least you're not naked anymore. Yes, and you got the vest on, and the mammoth wool, wool dress, and the shoes. Okay, uh, now, yeah, finish the hat. Master, yeah, there we go, masterwork hat. Alrighty. Wearing bearskin ladies hat, there we go. Problem solved. Oh, look at that. That's a good look. That is a good look. Also, who got the infection? It's just... Oh my god, you got shot a lot. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Alright, uh, let's see. Kemp fuel from fecal sludge. Do forever. I am going to limit the. I'm going to bring the radius down, and then I'm going to need to make a, a poop room. Make compressed chem fuel from Parasaurolope corpse. Mechanoid milk. Extract useful materials from mechanoid milk. What? You can milk a mech? What in the fuck? I'm a little concerned about that. Why, why are we, why are we milking Max? All right. Also, these doors do not need to be there, but they don't need to be, they, they can be held open. Okay. Ever see what uh, machining flood cool it looks like? No, I have not. Is it is it like milking a mech? Also, uh, Cyrus, we we could use a chef's outfit. It's very milky. Oh boy, kind of can't wait to milk my first. Hey, I got an idea. So like five years ago, somehow this mech got knocked down but didn't die and is just sitting out here can i bring it in and 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 and, and hook it up to some sort of mech milking apparatus because that would be pretty nifty some sort of beslavened mech milking machine I'm just saying. Also, I need to uh, have some sort of gladiator pit made one of these days. We have room, like, right about in here if we want to try to make a uh, coliseum. Kind of loving Richie's outfit here. We really don't need to be hauling animal corpses across, like, the entire map. Uh, so what I'm going to do is say, don't bother bringing in... Uh, rotting corpses right now because that's what they're doing. I needed that there before Because a lot of animals uh, died in here and I needed to get them out of my way, but we don't need that anymore All right, so no, These are gonna be new storerooms FYI, please tell me that's jerky it is uh, That's some random dude what in the fuck? Oh, you know what the issue is? Is I I should have done this. Just don't put animal corpses in there right now. Mm. 
There we go. Now get rid of that dead dude. Also, these... Okay, the radishes are growing outside of my... Of my hydroponics basins. Doing a good job keeping a, a nice little flow of veg coming in, though. That's nice. Oh, I missed one up here, but that's all right. Uh, so, if we wanted to put in some sort of coliseum, how much room do I have over here to work with? Um, if we go to... About there. 24 tiles, so we'll call it... 21, basically. So if we want to mine out a circle. Just uh, just eyeballing this right now to see how close I can pot potentially get a nice circle in here. That's actually pretty perfect. But it needs to be an odd number... So we'll go 11. So that way there is a specific entrance centered. Mecha Mechanoid milk comes from Mecha Muffalos and it does give you Neutromine and uh, Chem Fuel. So interesting if you find one. Okay, didn't know that, but that sounds pretty fucking cool. So that's gonna be a Coliseum. Alrighty, alrighty. Um, Corey, can you do me a favor and drop your Centurion helmet? And I'm gonna need Crassus to come wear that because then everybody will match. Pillars of the roof will collapse. True. Uh, okay, so here for now, just do this. Oh, fuck. Just, le just leave a little thing in the middle, and we'll we'll actually... Just to buttress the roof, then we'll put pillars in, then we'll take that out. Something's happening. Felt, I felt that one. Uh, a group of settlers from the Black Canyon bandits have arrived nearby. They want to besiege the colony. Grand Aunt of Noroth is here. All right. Uh, they've all got guns. So, actually, no, this is fine. Th this is actually fine. Tell everybody to stay in the safe area. The majority of the colony is under the mountain. And they're all going to suffer from toxic fallout. They're all going to suffer from toxic fallout. So we, uh, we don't necessarily need to worry about it too much, honestly. They got some napalm in there, some incendiaries. And is that high explosive right there? That's incendiary. That's incendiary, that's napalm. We've also got a mortar and an artillery piece. Oh, you know what would have been great if the meteor hit them? Fanny, thanks for the redoodly. And a one and a 22, Kappa. That would have been great if the meteor just fucking hit them. I would have loved that. So we will need to be concerned about this. Some of the base is exposed. Everything over here is exposed. But everything over here is under the mountain. Never seen a meteor hit anyone, I think. I, I have seen the, the cluster when there's a meteor shower and like five or six come down at once. I've seen that hit people before. I have seen that. Ooh. Already suffered from toxic buildup. 
Is this very modded? Yes, this I've got like several hundred mods on. You know what's funny? I dug that chamber out a very long time ago as a place to safely store my my explosives and flammable stuff. And they just put a fucking incendiary shell through it. Good thing I'm not using it for that anymore. Feel like we might want to start handing out some of these other weapons we have lying around, too. Uh, you know what I forgot about is there's a whole lot of guns sitting in here, too. Do we, is there anything in here we want to use? There's some shotguns. I do like shotguns, but a little short on the range. This is, and these are all melee. There's the pla old plasma saw we never ended up using. In this mod, the plasma saw is just not that useful. It's usable against things with no armor. Thought that was the opium hole. Oh, the opium hole was, uh... It's gone now, right? Oh, okay. The opium hole was right here. Because there was a wall there and a wall there. And I put the opium right there. That's my explosives. What did you do with all the weapons we're going to get? Uh, we'll divvy them out and see what which ones we want to use. I do have one sniper rifle there, but it's pretty degraded. The carbines are good. Ah, it's bio-coated. Ah, it's bio-coated too. So we do have a hunting rifle, and there's another semi-auto right there. Uh, so why don't we hand a couple of those out? Pre Bahamut, why don't you come over here and grab that? Knight. Uh, you could take the hunting rifle. And then Knight and Bahamut need to be switched to carry the right type of ammo. So Bahamut needs to go industrial. And uh, Knight was the other one. Knight, you need to go industrial as well. There we go. And make sure they're set to carry those. And, I'll, you know, I've got some more of these tower shields, too. So, Noroth, do you, are, do you have a... You have one on you, right? You already have a tower shield. Daddy, I'm going to have you drop this. Coming over, come over here, equip the birdskin heavy shield. I like those heavy shields. I'll give you something. Well, I mean, you got a pickaxe, but I'll give you something else to use as a melee weapon. Uh, there's a Gladius right there. There you go. Thought I told them to make some of those, but I don't see any more sitting around. I don't think they made it into here. No, they did not. That's okay. We'll make more. Be able to move the heavy... You barely move anyway to begin with, so it's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. How they doing? They're all they're all stopping for lunch, eating their MREs. What happened to you? Char charge shot pistol to the neck. That sound is so cool. Oh, you know, if we want some more slaves, too, these are still filled. The ancient cryosleep caskets still have people in them. This might be out of the safe zone. Uh, ah, by one tile. Just expand that out a little bit. There we go. Uh, do we replace all of the traps? No, but they're working on it. Toxic, the toxic fallout will end when I go deal with the toxic fallout, the, the spewer. 
Hey, 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 hey. Not cool. Oh, two, two of these guys are in here right now. Oh. That was not a smart idea. All right, just had to put a couple bullets into him. Problem solved. Cyrus, capture, 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 and just because I don't care about their well-being that their well-being that much, doctor care only, no medicine. You fucks! I would take good care of them too. I've been taking good care of them, and this is how they treat me. Sons of bitches. How high does this need to go up before it hits moderate? I think it's 25%. Somewhere around there. It's going up slower than I thought, honestly. Oh, but it just, no, it just did like a chunk. It did 3% all at once. Yeah, these guys are going to die. I imagine what's going to happen is they're going to get, start getting pretty sick and try to attack me. And then I'm just going to get, they'll, they'll either all collapse before they get here. Or I'll be able to just murder them in the killador. Also, I have not ever used the gladiatorial fighting before. So this is going to be fun to try. Uh, are any of you dying? No, not really. You're fine. Ungrateful fuckers. Oh, good thing there's nobody in there. Just a little hole in the roof is fine. Animal yak wool. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, I think I'm also going to switch something on here. I Everybody is wearing the backpacks. And I did tell them to make them out of blue fur, which we don't have any more of. So, let's use plain leather. Because we have that. And we've got a lot of mammoth around too, so you can use that too if you want. Alright, cool. Tight, 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 tight. Oh, and this is going to be the poop hole. This is going to get filled with literal shit. All of the fecal sludge will go in there. I'm very pleased that the animals have not been starving. I was worried that... That was a high explosive shell. I was worried... And this is why we do redundant uh, utilities. Because they just blew out some lines there. I was worried this wouldn't be enough food for them. But they haven't had any trouble keeping themselves fed. No, Sergey! Oh, you're right in the eyeball. Shredded by an artillery shell. Uh, and it's a little cold there, so we're gonna want to take care of this ASAP. Turn, yeah, we're gonna turn the poop into chem fuel. Poor Sergey had an eye blown out. All right, uh, Kurd, can you come down here and uh, tend to Sergey, please? We don't want to lose our matriarch. How are they doing? All right, it's up to minor. So they're getting worse. Sergey's been through a lot. Alright, there we go. You okay, buddy? Missing a kidney. Oh, wait, where, where's Kurd? Oh, coming on in. I hadn't made it there yet. A little bit of, a little bit of napalm. Poor Sergey. All right, all right. We just need to main. We, we just need to maintain the artillery barrage for a little longer. Desert oh, oh, there's a lot of things. I mean, I, I would say if anybody deserves some bionic parts in this colony, it's Daddy. But yeah, no, Sari's on the list. If we could ever get some bionic animal bits, 
What are they? They never run out of explodey stuff. Um, they will get periodic airdrops, which will bring in food and ammunition. But they will never run out. They will keep it going indefinitely. Uh, they will get bored eventually and just assault the colony, but that takes a while. But you cannot wait them out. All right, we are going to hit expand zone. Copy setting. Oh, uh, we want to copy settings here. Paste it there. Delete this. Bring those out. And that will that way we'll have a good uh, a, a nice convenient place to get fecal sludge to process into chem fuel. Yeah, but we don't really have to worry about this because they can't do that much damage to the colony. And they're all exposed to the toxic fallout. Honestly, I'm sitting here going, maybe we just leave the toxic fallout. It it will take care of sieges for me. Maybe. See how we we see how we feel in a little while. Once the wait, what is it? Summer? No, it's spring. Well, it's almost summer, so the temperature is going to get to the point where we can actually head out again if we want. Knight, what are you wearing? Right, the locust armor. I forgot we had that. Are we running out of power? Do we? Did a power line get disconnected? Uh, no, there's a redundancy on that. Power line's up. Probably just the... Oh, what is that? Huh? Set up a chem fuel generator in the Jason room. Yeah, now that we have a source of chem fuel, we, I think we just, again, are out of power because we installed some things that use more power. So a set of auxiliary generators on chem fuel would be a great idea. Because then we could uh, have a way of... Oh, we did lose a little bit of power. They blew up a generator, but that's not a big deal. That was just a little bit. But that'll give us... Because I, I believe we have the backup... Yeah, we have the backup power control box. So we can set them up so they only kick on when we are actually out of power. This is coming along nicely. Putting the slaves back together. These guys are all having a nap. All right, some of them are up to moderate now. It's honestly taking longer than I thought for them to succumb. Oh, and there we go. There's the food coming in. Is the goal of this game? Well, the, go the, the end goal of RimWorld is to escape the planet in some way. There's several end game scenarios. You can build a spaceship and leave. You can travel to a spaceship and leave. We actually do want to take care of that. Um, oh, God. Uh, Ar Arlen's... Welcome. Arlen's M. I'm going to go with that. Uh, there's some new ways... Which I don't remember what they are because I've never used them. Um, there's like a tech way where you have to like go defend some sort of ancient architect item. And then it like upload. Yeah, Archonexus. That's what it's called. And I think there's one more now. Oh, uh, yeah. The royalty one. You can, you can go to the max level uh, royalty and then basically say, hey, I'm an important person. You should come get me off this planet. And then, uh, like, a king comes down, and you have to defend him from some raids. And then if you do that successfully, you are deemed good enough to get out. Just gonna put this out here. Walking through the napalm? Not the best idea. Goals to die in a very entertaining way. Yeah, that is my goal, because I don't necessarily find actually winning the game too interesting. Uh, once you get to the point where you're super, super strong, uh, I, I, I lose a lot of um, interest in playthroughs. There have been playthroughs where I just got so strong, I kind of just went, this is boring now, and left it. Uh, so usually, 
my way of approaching a game is I start with a theme and then just stick to it. So I'll come up with something, some sort of limitations or some sort of uh, goal or some sort of way of providing for my people that is weird and then go for that. Like when we made a guinea pig farm, it was not shoot necessarily shooting for anything other than let's make a colony that farms guinea pigs and see how well it works. Wish the rumors would come sooner. Oh my God, yes. I never get, I almost never get that far in. Until you're too strong, you look for a creative way to get out. Oh yeah, there was the one, like the guinea pig farm, we were doing really good. I didn't, I didn't destroy us in that one because we were too strong. There was a lot of places to go in that still. I ended that one because the performance got so bad that it was unplayable, which reminds me, while these guys are here, I'm going to uh, turn on the head F optimi- Well, I turned on the head F optimizations anyway. But they're they're really tanking my performance right now. Well, no, th this will still affect people. Oh yeah, definitely. I'm about to say with head if optimizations on, this will still affect that, that uh, affect people. Well, let's just watch them to make sure. Oh yeah, it just went up. I don't think they're gonna last too much longer now. They seem to be hitting some utility lines every one. Oh no! Dimitri! Oh no, not Dimitri. I, sorry, Dirty. I think I went to, with Dimitri because I saw a D and the other one's named Sergey. God damn it! They're napalming my fucking animals. It's because there's people down here trying to put the fires out now and they're shooting at the people. How hot is it in there now? All right, we gotta we gotta actually take the door down, or they'll die. Fucking hurt my baby, my baby we love cow. You. Shut up, baby! I know it. And eliminator, thanks for the doodly. So now we'll tell him to put that door back up. Thankfully, it's not too cold out right now, so it's not going to kill the grass. These guys have got to be dying soon, though. Uh, some of them are barfing all... Yeah, some of them are down. Some of them are barfing all over the place. Some of them are down. They're just collapsing now. Believe in toxic spewers and defense mechanisms. I was thinking about it, honestly. We have, we have delved into the mountain pretty well now. And we've got food production and enough uh, grass to keep my animals alive. So I'm actually sitting here going, maybe we just leave it and it'll help with defense. Oh, 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 actually they're, they're charging now. Oh, I'd love to shoot some of these fuckers. Traders die. Well, Toxic Fallout takes a little while, so just the amount of time to walk from the edge of the map into my base, they'll be okay. Oh, some of them are collapsing along the way. All right, well, uh, you guys right here. You go to the front line. Uh, everybody that's got the better rep weapons, take the back line. And then everybody else can do whatever. Yeah, uh, organizing this has made it a lot easier to get people in, into the positions. Ooh. Waiting for pickup. Rifle. Gauss Magnum, which is a pretty dangerous weapon. They got in range of the bolt action. You just start hearing boosh, boosh, boosh. <laughs> nice. 
Uh, what's fun is a lot of these guys probably won't make it off the map either because, well, if they, they'd have to hit extreme, but they're all, they're slowed down. So some of them will probably fall down. Nice. Yep. <laughs> A bunch fell down all at once. That was great. Uh, and my, my prisoner room is, um, is full right now. So we're just going to leave them. Just leave them to die. Uh, do, 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 do. So now we can go back here, unrestrict all these ones. Not even check. I don't even have room right now. I don't have any place to put them. I don't want to have like 10 slaves crammed into a small room. Is it by where you can build your own toxic spewer and weather control devices? Not that I'm aware of. So you, I, I haven't heard of anything like that myself personally. Uh, so you you could uh, ask around in the community or troll the, the, um, the workshop, but I don't personally know of one. Stone skin gland, tough skin gland, jump pack for a low thir uh chase. Nice amount of ammo. That's only what's right here as well. Some good weapons too. I think uh, one of the uh, honestly, now that we're starting to think about uh, like and and this is the reason why like when something like this happens and I'm I'm not like jumping out of my skin to go get fifty slaves, is just because they're so easy to get. There, oh, there'll always be more raids. We'll always get more opportunities. And we've already got three in there right now. I would like to make this bigger, though, to fit more. But I think what we'll do is we'll finish this task, and then we'll do that. There's always more. Also, more more people means more miles to feed. Uh, we are making chem fuel now. So do we have any more than ten? Uh, I need to click on the search button. No, uh, but that's okay. There's a chem, chem fuel pond out there. Oh God, look at that. It, can I use this to search for, nah, shame, no such luck. Uh, can I, I do need someone to run out here, Ooh, uh, outside of the slave area. Come out here and remove my Tyrian purple. I can make a beautiful toga out of that. Now that we got some. Just out of curiosity. Is there any reason to make your clothes more beautiful in this game? Like, beauty of objects affects... Like the room and how happy they are for seeing beautiful things. But does that apply to clothing as well? Never really thought about it. Was that a little bit of wake up in there too? Is that another bolt at? No, the, 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 the lever action. So like, is there actually a reason to care about this? So like the wolf skin toga doesn't even have like a beauty modifier. Can you see if you got a text from Weblin? No, I have not. Got a lot of sp I got got a lot of scam emails. Uh, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Today's the first. It says between sixteen hundred and twenty two hundred. Twenty two hundred is ten p.m. Right? Yeah. So it's it's still they're still in their delivery window. I think the only effects how beautiful the shirt or whatever it is when it's laying on the ground. But when it's laying on the ground, it's always the same. 
uh, ever like like every item laying on the ground has the same like negative beauty modifier. Hang on. Um. So like it would have a huge impact making like a chair out of it. Does clothing material beauty factor matter? Peril has no such stat, or whether you are wearing a thrown before hat or cloth one makes no difference. The only stats here apply to armor values, insulation, sell price. So it's a bad idea to make thrown before clothing. Um, better is subjective. Better to use to make furniture, blah, blah, blah. Hmm. Apparel. Let's take let's take a look at the apparel. Let's see. Looking at the wiki page right now. Durability, insulation, quality. So quality. Let's see. Armor factor, insulation factor, market value. Okay, so it does. So quality does affect beauty. <laughs> the wiki page doesn't say like anything about beauty it just shows you that there is a beauty factor based on materials hmm I don't think it the beauty factor matters in the slightest bit for clothing. So interestingly enough, just because of the way the game works, there's like no positive or negative for the beauty factor of a item of of the the you know base material. So like the best thing to do would be would be like make a chair out of it or something be make make like a, a tyrian purple armchair sandbags they actually be really weak because it's not a strong cloth um i'm gonna make well v wait voldrin we haven't even made... Voldrin doesn't even have a room. Hang on, I'm just going to put this here. Space already occupied. I'm just going to have... Um, wait, who's my best constructor? Jidge. Jidge, make this. I need, I need a throne. I need like a royal bed chamber for Caesar. Cl uh, clothing matters for armor, durability, heat, cold resistance. Yeah. But... Well, it was like, it was, I, I was like, okay, we've got this super beautiful leather. We'll make some cool clothes out of it. And then all of a sudden I was like, wait, does that do anything? And it doesn't. I wish it did. I, I, I would say that the, there should be a positive mood modifier based on how beautiful your own clothing are. Like a small one, like, like maximum plus five. How's March of Eagles 2 doing? There is a guy who is doing a total conversion of... Well, I can't remember what he was using for the base game. He's making, he's making a total conversion for March of Eagles, I think it was. Hang on, let me see if I can find it real quick. Oh god. He was making like a total conversion. Can't even be fixed. Well, that's the thing is the game the game sucks because it was basically made by uh modders and just kind of abandoned really quickly. 
That's why it's garbage. Yeah, I want. I'll, I'll give me one second here. I want to see if I can find this. I know some people at work were talking about it, so I'm looking through Slack right now. See if I can find it. No, nope, not in there. Trying to find the room that somebody put it in. I'm probably not going to be able to find it. Now, now that I'm specifically looking for something, I'm never going to be able to find it. Fuck. I don't remember which chat. I'm in 4,000 chat rooms and I don't remember which one it was in. So, no, nah, I can't find it. There, maybe I could search for it. Ooh, hang on. Okay, I, fo I found what I was looking for. Okay, so this is what it is. A guy is making east for an east versus west total conversion using March of Eagles as the base. That's what it is. There, here's the link. I I, I knew March of Eagles was in there somewhere. But he's, it's, it's, it's East versus West, it's an East versus West total conversion using the March of Eagles game as, as the base. That's what it is. All right, all right, all right, cool. Also, one of our guys converted already. It's that one. So you, uh, Baslavin. Hmm. And the Coliseum is coming along nicely. Uh, should we smooth the hallway between the barracks and the rec room? Yeah, we could do that. I also want to see how beautiful this fucking chair is. Excellent quality, beauty. What? Sixty-six. All that time to get the purple chair and its beauty is 66? Fucking silver statue of me is 2400. Well, I mean, just... Go throw it in, go throw it in Cyrus's bedroom. Ah, well. Yeah, I know they're not super beautiful to begin with. I still thought it'd be more than that. I just didn't have a lot of options to work with right now. Also, is the new engine doing okay? What are you talking about, Bacon Dog? Oh, also, I can talk to these guys. Uh, Richie could use the new dress to get better... The new dress and hat to get better prices. Negotiation plus 16. I really thought it'd be more than that. Okay, that's fine. All right, what do we got? I, I've got a lot of shit to get rid of is what I got. See, I'm just gonna look down the list till I see something I want to keep. <laughs> there, yeah, can do better than that. There's a, there's, there's a, there's a pick. There's a couple good pickaxes right there. There we go. The new uh, game engine paradox is working on. We don't really have a new game engine. I mean. We have a new, we have a newer game engine, you know, the, you know, what Vicky and Crusader Kings is being, uh, built off of, but that's not exactly new. 
you know, Crusader Kings has been out for what? Crusader Kings 3 has been out for what? Like a year? Two years? And then it was, you know, the, the game engine was from, you know, five years before that or whatever. Uh, keep, keep, get rid of. Bearded Axe. Cleaver we can keep. Chuck it, chuck it, chuck it, chuck it. Uranium Mace, they're pretty good. Oh, we got a better one right there. Uranium Hammer, Chitin, Chitin, Cleavers, keep that. I'll get rid of that, we're not using it. War Casket Broadsword. We got a heavy Crypto Axe there for two grand. All right, we got a lot of shit we can get rid of down here too. What are we up to? 1,200 ducats. So yeah, like the sniper, even the sniper rifle is degraded. The grenade launcher we're not using. Clean this place out. So we got a battle rifle that's worth keeping. I don't like the revolver. I'll keep the hand cannon. That's not half bad. Starting to get rid of the flint locks now. Automatic pistols are not bad. Double barrel shotgun, not bad. We can get rid of the muskets now. Hunting rifle, we'll get rid of that. There's another auto pistol. Lever action, I like. The, the rifles, I like. Now, that one's not bad. Hunting rifle, keep, keep. Pump shotguns, I actually don't like. I like the double barreled shotguns. Lever action rifle, keep. Chain shotgun, I actually don't like either. LMGs, we're not going to use because they use too much ammo. Gauss Magnum will keep. The Battle Rifle will keep. They got a Charge SMG. I got a Ford. Fire Bombs we'll get rid of. Dynamite we'll get rid of. All right, we got an old set of Riot Armor. Old Centurion Hat. Uh, a, apparently a lot of tainted crap just laying around. They're willing to take for a pittance. All right, so we're positive 2,800 ducats, and they only have 900. So what can I what what can I take? I can take some meds. Uh, I can take some ammo. Take whatever ammo they got laying around. Hey, Scooby, how you doing? Good day, bonjour, love that. Oh, hello again, my Swiss friend. Glad you're still surviving. We are doing all right. Yes, we're doing all right. I still need to ditch about a grand worth of stuff, so we might end up buying a cool weapon. Was there was a there was a charge SMG? Yeah, right there. I'll buy that. There we go. Boom! Clear that place out. That also will have cleared out all of this too. Beautiful. Well, I can give someone a charge SMG. How much spacer ammo do I have? I have a little bit. I have a little bit. Somebody could use that. It wouldn't be insane. Uh, also, we are producing chem fuel now. A couple things we need to do. So, storage. We need a place to put the chem fuel. Do I know what a barrel is? No, apparently I don't know what a barrel is. So I think I could just stack it up on a pallet. I think. Most of the time I call the Swiss Mountain French people. Well, he did he did come at us with a bonjour. That, that would be a natural assumption. I think I could just put some pallets in here. Can I make... I can't make pallets out of... <laughs> I was say, can I make pallets out of uh, uh, stone? I cannot. So in that case, what I'm just going to do is go like this. Chem fuel. Chem fuel. Just keep it in there. Don't need to go anywhere fancy with it. This door might not, we might not want to keep make this out of wood. Someone is getting a Moab suit. Can he grab one so someone can go outside the base? Well, I mean, we can walk outside the base perfectly fine. We just don't want to spend several days out there. 
Like, I, someone could go outside and take a nap for two days, and I, they could just come in and shake it off. Just finished making my second car, carboy of mead. Is that a typo or a word I'm not aware of? Okay, no, that's a thing. A large globular glass bottle with a narrow neck typically protected by a frame and used for holding acids or other corrosive liquids. Do you have a do you, do you have acid mead? Do I know if Paradox is going to come back to Imperador someday? I do not know. Um, I, that is that is a decision far out of my pay grade. Uh, I I hope so. Uh, like the Roman Empire is kind of my favorite time frame, and I think a Paradox game in that time frame uh, could be extraordinarily good. It's a shame that Imperator didn't turn out that way. Um, I, I don't, I, I would personally probably rather see the resources go into Imperator 2, uh, rather than trying to drag Imperator along after so many years. Um, but again, all that is way outside of my pay grade. Oh, we got a mech raid, uh, a drop it in mech raid. It's only three though. So we've got uh, a slicey dicey, a pikey wakey, and a dagger snooty. Okay, that's not too bad. Two point is pretty good. Oh, it's way better. It it, it is way better, but it, it's like from from a business standpoint, is it is it better to, you know after x amount of months and years of no development and everybody laboring under the assumption that the whole thing's dead what did you just shoot at what the fuck is that caterpine oh okay dude what happened to you caterpine forgot those were a thing out there um is it is it better to you know try to frankenstein the corpse of imperator or is it better to just say, let's take what we got, focus on the learned factors from from that game, from 1.0 to 2.0, and make Imperator 2 and start from scratch. My, my personal desire would be to go, let's start from scratch. But the, the, the unfortunate thing is Mayor is the, the best one for this because he's got the, uh, the what's it called? Well, uh, we're going to go out and deal with this. Oh, no, the, the Caterpines aren't from that. They, they dropped the, there was a strange thingy that dropped earlier that I just ignored. They're coming from wherever that is. I'm actually gonna let them just yeah I want them to get a little closer are they gonna try to get through the door I actually don't know what they're what is he hitting he's like really shit at hitting this wall okay well uh mayor you're gonna go there Noroth you're gonna go there and you three are gonna take the dagger snout Oh, Zeus hammered. All right, and if everybody else wants to, they can come out here and just start shooting things. Oh, it's adapted, but it's getting fucked up. Noroth is having a grand old time fighting this thing. Uh, and if you three... Actually, it'd be better if you guys were a little closer. Uh, that's fine. Minor injuries. Minor injuries is all. Did buy Imperator. Uh, can't make cannons. I can make cannons, but I want to keep... Uh, the scorpions are Roman-themed. 
If I if I have the option to go for something more Roman themed or less Roman themed, I'm gonna go more Roman themed. Uh, we sad if it didn't get developed further, but understandable. Have yet to actually have yet to actually play it. Goes for many go that goes for many games. That is true. I just well, it's it's like it, it's kind of like um like, like, like yeah I, I wasn't thinking about it from that 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 standpoint of oh these uh, x amount of people bought the game and uh, there is an expectation for paradox games that we're gonna get ten years of development uh, you know or something along those lines. Spears and bows are Roman theme though. Why filthy weapons? Uh, because I also do want to play the game. <laughs> and just just sticking with uh, gladiuses and uh, bows the whole time would be a severe handicap. Um, oh yeah, but we're uh, financially for the the Imperator game. Uh, the ga at the end of the day, the game has to make money. And if there's only a very, very tiny player base for it and you've got a big development team, you know, desperately trying to, like, revitalize it, but there's still only this tiny little player base, you're still, you're losing money. It's got to turn a profit. At the end of the day, you're making games to turn a profit. Also, are these guys new or old? Or these are the old ones. I gotta find where those caterpines are coming from. Down here somewhere. Uh, I think I can go to messages and find it in there. Yeah, there it is. Oh, I wouldn't have guessed. Oh, it expires in like a day. It's, it's fine. Uh, uh, you know, it's, it's, oh, of course it got me right in the eyeball. Space Station 13, that game was class. That game had potential. It did have potential, and then it, it didn't. Um, also, I really need somebody to kind of work this thing. Casca, thanks for the doodly. Uh, and I need some... Raid incoming. Where are they? Chem fuel power generators. And... Well, I've got this room right here that we don't have much in right now. So I'm just going to kind of cram a couple of these bad boys in here. Get rid of that. I'm going to put four of them in. They're going for the caterpines. Did, uh, what happened here? You're just sleeping? Okay, they're just sleeping. That's fine. Ooh, shit. But I think I need to wrap up the stream soon because I've been, I haven't even realized that I've been going for four and a half hours and I didn't even know that we had been streaming for that long. Uh, so I'm going to wrap it up here, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Uh, I am working this coming week. So I'll be back at my normal schedule, which is Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday for a bunch of EU4. Maybe. Uh, I don't know. My Swabia game is doing pretty poorly, and I've kind of been jonesing for some Kerbal Space Program. So we'll see how that runs out. Uh, and RimWorld on the weekend. So thanks for watching all, and I will see everybody next time. Bye bye If I can find the buttons to bye bye